everybody. Hello. Okay, let me mute myself there. Hello, guys. How are you? Good afternoon, good evening, or good morning. I don't know, wherever you are. Good day. Good day to you. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hello, guys. Welcome in, everybody. Oh, I am so, so, so excited. Are you guys excited? Because tonight we play Pleasant View for the first time ever on stream. You guys get to watch me play Pleasant View for the third time. <laughs> it's midnight, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, oh, oh, thank you for subscribing uh, with Twitch Prime. Allie, thank you so much. Oh, I feel bad you didn't get your... Aw. I have to fix it so that the pop-ups show up when I'm in full screen. There we go, and there's another uh, Twitch Prime sub. So thank you so much, Allie, and thank you so much, um, Kristen, for those Twitch Prime subs. I appreciate that, thank you. Oh, what am I doing this for? I need to do game capture. Oh, thank you for the follow, Slurp the Noodles. <laughs> hey, everybody. It sounds so professional, I know. <laughs> Okay, so look, check this out. Okay, why do I have it on? I have it on the wrong one. There we go. So look at this beautiful, virgin Pleasant View, yet to be touched, yet to be manipulated by us. <laughs> I am so excited. I love starting over Pleasant View, and this time I am playing it exactly how I want to. Of course, wants-based, of course. We're gonna let our Sims choose their own lives, but I'm playing it how I wanna play it, and as we go, um, we are going to be fixing up Pleasant View because it needs it bad, okay? I've played base game Pleasant View enough in my life. And so we're going to be fixing up the town as we go. I'll probably do a lot of that off the stream, honestly. But um, I wanted I want to do that. I was going in here. I was looking at the buildings. I was like, good God. They look like they were built in 2004. <laughs> okay, and I have to apologize, guys. I am... I am recovering from a really bad headache that I had this afternoon. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the sub, Laura Puppy. I appreciate that so much. Thank you and welcome. So I had a really bad headache. I took some ibuprofen and then I, and then, so then I started drinking this energy drink. What is this? V8 energy. V8 energy, pomegranate and blueberry. And normally I would not drink caffeine this late in the day. Thank you for the follow, Jez. <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, we got 94% hype train. All right. So, I'm gonna be drinking this and it really helps. It really helps just kick in the pain reliever, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, okay, 2004 is the year you were born. Oh my Lord. Feel so old. Feel so old. I'm trying to get my foot rest here. Here we go. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to play. <laughs> yeah, Pleasant View lots are terrible. They are absolutely terrible. Ibuprofen gang represent. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we're going to start, of course, we're going to start with Dawn. Of course, you guys already know that. The Veronaville lots are worse. <clears throat> Um, no, I have not done anything. I have not done any of the stories yet. We're gonna do all the stories right now. Aw, thank you so much for subscribing for two months. Uh, Anna, I appreciate that. Listening from the car on the way home. <laughs> thank you, Anna. I appreciate that so much. It's so nice of you. Okay. Hey, Jetset. Thanks for stopping in. It does need a revamp, and we're going to revamp it as we go. I'm going to take the long, slow road on this Pleasant View. I want this to be my final Pleasant View. I say that every time I play it, but I mean it this time. <laughs> so let's go in here and load load up Dawn. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing, Natalie. Thank you. Oh, I already hit my sub goal. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let me get some more energy, some more liquid energy. I love starting fresh too, and I'm so glad that you guys like to watch it more than once. Because I, I always thought to myself, I can't play Pleasant View again because I've already done it. Not once, but twice. But you know what? It's fun every time. So, And I've never done it on a stream before, so I'm excited. 
All right, here we go. Here we go, Don. Don Lothario. Who is Don Lothario? We know who he is. Let's go inside and get the show on the road. <laughs> the condos need help. They need help so bad. But Don moves out of his condo like really soon, so I'm not even gonna bother with his right now. I move him out pretty pretty quick because he's gonna marry Cassandra. I'll never get sick of it either, Vampira. Vampira. I, I have to do it every time. Every time I see you, I have to do it. <laughs> hey, thanks, Melissa. Dawn was your gay awakening. <laughs> I love that. Oh, today was your first day back at work, Beth. That sucks. Unless you love your job, and then that's great. <laughs> today, guys, was my very first day sitting in my office and doing all sim stuff all like channel stuff all streamer stuff all day i felt like a real i felt like a real professional youtuber today i got so much work done i got streams scheduled i got blog posts done i got my i got my work done on pleasant view i'm just like so happy <laughs> and tomorrow i'm gonna make a video for youtube but it probably won't go out until wednesday I never say that I'm ever gonna do like a certain amount of generations because I'm just gonna play forever is what I want to do. Like I never want to stop. <laughs> I wonder how long you could play a neighborhood before it just fell apart. You know what I mean? Like how long, how many generations? Could you get to 20? Could you get to 30? Could the game support it? I don't know. Aw, thanks Miles. <laughs> thanks guys. Does anyone love working at McDonald's? <laughs> probably not, probably not. <laughs> I did upload the Asylum lot already on my blog. So just go to PleasantSims.com and I uploaded it today. That was the blog post that I did. Okay, here we go. Dawn's romantic life is really humming along. Maybe now's the time to put the moves on Nina Caliente. So, of course, the first thing that we do is go call up Nina. Oh, and before we do that, though, let's look at Dawn because, oh, my, my. <laughs> Dawn is looking good. Dawn is looking good with my new defaults. So, Dawn, here is Dawn wearing Lilith's Honey Honey Skin blend and Poppet's, uh, what are the name of the eyes? Can't remember the, plain and simple. Poppet's plain and simple eyes. And he also has the new hair system hairs. Aw, oh, you gave out a gift sub. Thank you so much. Is that you, Shelby? Is that you giving out gift subs? Thank you. <laughs> who'd, we give, who'd we get a gift sub to? Oh, thanks for following, Petite Simmer. <laughs> oh, I gotta hydrate. Okay, I'm gonna hydrate with water. I have water, too. I have water and energy drink. Oh, thank you for the follow, Madeline. Hey, hi, Fructose. <laughs> yes, Dawn is looking fine. So after we get through this little scripted part, I'm gonna also gonna give him some eyelashes, but besides that, I'm just leaving him how he is. Thank you for the follow, King Alex. Hype train success. All right, I'm gonna share my hype train emoji with you guys. There we go. Choo choo. <laughs> okay, so let's get let's get started on this story. Let's call up Nina and invite her over. You know, I think the great thing about starting over Pleasant View is it's just the you can see all of the possibilities laid out in front of you. It's like if you could start your own life all over again. You know, but we're gonna do it vicariously through our Sims. So we're gonna call Nina. I always lock in this one, even though I don't think it really matters. ACR has been installed. Oh yeah, we have to do our ACR settings too. <laughs> um, well, in order for you to get the pop-up for Dawn to call a maid, you have to immediately, this is what you have to do. So right after he calls Nina right now, you have to do it at right the right time, at exactly the right time. He's going to call Nina, invite her over. And as soon as he hangs up the phone, I'm going to press pause. Oh, his hair's funky in the back. 
How nice of you to invite me over. I'll just gussy up and come right over. Okay, I press pause immediately. Oh my god, you stupid garden club fool. <laughs> I hate this these garden club people, and I don't want them in my game. And once again, I forgot to ban them. But you know what? I didn't forget to ban the gypsy. So okay, we'll get we'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second. Thank you for the follow, TJ. So as soon as he gets off the phone calling Nina, press pause, and then this one is actually the closest. And I have him go clean this up immediately. He gets, he throws a little fit because he doesn't want to clean. He picks it up and then you get the pop-up. So you have to do it right then. Okay. All right. So this guy, this is our garden dude. Oh my God, dude. He's got a forehead on him. Stephen Washington, he's in our game now. There's nothing we can do about it. I'm just going to delete him. I hate you, Steven. He's here, though. He's here to stay. And I'm going to immediately, immediately do the visitor controller, which I should have done as soon as I loaded the lot. And we are going to ban, at least we're going to ban the matchmaker. So she's not going to show up. And you have to remember to do this on every single lot is such a pain. <laughs> okay, so next step is he's going to call up Kaylin. So we're going to call service. And then as soon as he does that, Nina should be showing up. We're going to take care of all of Dawn's other stuff after we get through this little event here because I don't want to miss any of the steps. Okay, so then we're going to call the maid. And Nina is already here, I do believe. Yep. Yes, come on over, Kaylin. Come on over. Nina is here. And let's take a look at Nina, too, because I haven't seen any of the Sims yet. Um, let's see what Nina looks like here. Oh, thank you for the follow, Silver Kayla. Oh, oh my God, we're inside of her head. No, 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 no. Okay, so she looks pretty cute, but I think her makeup needs some work. Um, we'll take care of that soon. Just pretend she looks cuter, okay? <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, so you have to do it exactly like this, or you're not going to get the pop-ups. All right, so she says, okay, she'll come right over. Um, Dawn wants to win Nina over, and it looks like she's slowly succumbing to his wily charms. Maybe now the time, maybe now's the time to suggest a romantic soak in the hot tub. So I have Dawn go, go over here and greet Nina. Let's get some romance going in here, Dawn. <laughs> the defaults look, are, are so good. I love them so much. But we're going to fix Nina, don't worry. So then the next thing... Okay, they're going to do some attraction, back rub, whatever. Um, I just immediately have them go upstairs. So the Prima Guide tells you to like go make drinks first. But if you do that, it ends up taking way too long. So I just have them go get into the hot tub so i have dawn go get into the hot tub and then immediately he's going to click on nina and click ask to join and they're going to go do that now depending on how long this takes they may or may not get caught by kaylin usually if i have him make drinks they don't get caught because it takes so long so maybe they'll get caught today i don't know Jack -jack. <laughs> yes drama is brewing yeah kaylin's here now Okay, Nina, where are you? Oh, here she comes. Oh, come here. I want to look at you. I want to look at you, Kaylin. Oh, so she, I've got a default replacement for the maid outfit, and look how cute that is. She no longer looks like she's somebody's maid fetish, right? She looks like an actual maid now. <laughs> she no lo longer looks like she's wearing an adult costume. Aw, you look so cute. Only the black lipstick has to go. The black lipstick. You know what? Let's just do that right now because we're, we might not see her again for a little while. So let's see if I can gussy her up. Um, because that black lipstick just, to me, it doesn't suit Kaylin, you know? I know I love the, the maid suit, though. You have that one too, April? <laughs> um, I don't remember where I found it where I got the maid default, but it's probably on my Pinterest board. If anybody remembers where that came from, can you put it in the chat? 
yeah, the lipstick has to go. Hey, Joe. <laughs> I agree. Okay, so I actually really like her hair like this. I like it in the bun because you would definitely have your hair up when you're going to be cleaning toilets and stuff. So we're going to go and give her some different lipstick. I like a nice, like a nice matte red or pink on Kaylin. I think a red. I think a nice red looks good on her. Then I'm going to give her some eyelashes. Not those. Not those. So some of these Bruno eyelashes will probably look good on her. And a little bit of eyeshadow. There. That's so much nicer. Oh, she's so cute. Let me see. Let me see. Come here. Let me see. Let me see you. Aw, she's adorable. <laughs> You make her a blonde? I don't. I leave her with black hair. <laughs> okay. So let's go. Let's go check on Dawn and Nina. They're probably going to get caught. So maybe I should have had him make drinks. Because they're going to get caught by Kaylin. And I feel kind of bad about that. But it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's do a cuddle. It also doesn't take Kaylin very long to clean up the condo. Oh my god, Dawn. Seriously. Okay, they're definitely not going to get caught now. Aw, thank you so much for subscribing for two months, Emmy. I appreciate that and welcome. Thank you. Okay, get back in here, Dawn. What are you doing? We're trying to make your dreams come true, buddy. <laughs> I know, what a cute little home wrecker. Um, you can't post links in the chat, April, but if you could just say, like, the website, maybe people could find it for themselves. I think my uh, auto mod is like really high. It won't even let me post links. I gotta adjust that. Okay, he's back in here. They're talking about fashion. C get over here and cuddle. And don't you dare get out again. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Put the link for the maid outfit on Discord. Um, thank you for the follow at Okay, what are you guys doing? Okay, this is really taking forever. Cuddle! Cuddle, I say! We're trying to give you what you want, Dawn. Okay, see how it, like, it jumped? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. He's cuddling. Okay, hold on, he's cuddling. Um, oh, oh, that's a good point. Hold on, that's a good point, Doche. Let's, um... I can't make her selectable now. Shoot. No, she's not going to get pregnant because I didn't make her selectable and apparently I can't make her selectable now. Can I shift click on her? Oh yeah, I can do it that way. Okay. I'm not used to using those cheats. Okay, so let's make selectable. Oh, thanks so much for subscribing, Melissa. Thank you. I'm sorry, I got a nose itch. That wasn't cute. Um, I see you keep asking me where I download my Sims 2 custom content. You can find all of it on my Pinterest board. So if you go to Pinterest slash Pleasant Sims, you can find all of my custom content there. You can also look on my blog, PleasantSims.com, for some lists of custom content sites. <clears throat> okay, so <laughs> it's not the Stranger Things. S Stranger Things, it sounds almost just like it but it's not actually it <laughs> i know whenever because i got this mate that that thing made for me and i had to go listen to the stranger thing stranger things theme because i was like is that it it's not it it just sounds almost just like it <laughs> oh thanks Chaz. okay here we go here we go so the reason, okay, the reason why I make Nina selectable is so she can possibly get pregnant, I think. And, but you know what? We haven't even set up ACR, so that's probably worthless. <laughs> she has, like, no chance. Oh, and also, you know what? This isn't going to work because uh, they didn't do it through the casual menu. So I don't have risky woohoo just on normal woohoos. I don't think I have that anymore. So she's not going to get pregnant. So it doesn't matter. But we'll make her unselectable after. Yes, this is the clean template of Pleasant View. And, oh my gosh, no, we don't want to hang out, Kaylin. No, I'm sorry. Um, he's busy right now. 
So I really hesitated to use the clean template. I wanted to use it because I like all the fixes, but it bothers me that Bella Goth is here as a townie. Like, why? I hate that. So what I'm gonna do is as soon as I see Bella, I'm gonna give her the prisoner token and hopefully she will not show up on any lots anymore and she'll just be missing like she's supposed to be for the Pleasant View story. I am not one of those people who likes to bring Bella back. I don't like it, it messes with the story. Okay, get it. Oh, get over here and woohoo. What are you doing? Woohoo! Nina will get pregnant soon enough. I'm not worried about that. So I always love this scene so much because you can see Don's wedding ring on his finger. I mean, his engagement ring because he's engaged to Cassandra Goth right now. So you can see his engagement ring on his finger while he's getting it on with Nina in the hot tub. <laughs> Nina will get pregnant probably by several people in this in my game eventually. Oh, I got a hydrate two minutes ago and I didn't even see it. Hydrate for April. Okay, wow, that was, she was really attracted to him there. Okay, so that's done. So the next thing that I do, the next thing on the list is we're gonna say goodbye. Let's, you know what, let's get out. We're gonna say goodbye to Nina. He got what he wanted out of her. He's getting all this woohooing out of his system the night before he gets married because tomorrow is his uh, wedding day. And then let's, can we shoo her out of here? Get out, get out, get out. Get out, Nina. Okay, I don't know if we can shoo her out. Now, I don't wanna join. I wanna say goodbye. What do you okay? He's gonna go to the bathroom. Um, how can we get her out of here? Ask. No. Oh, she's selectable. <laughs> I just looked over at the chat, and everybody's like, She's selectable. She's selectable. <laughs> well, then I'll just make her get out myself. Okay, and then let's um, unselect her. <laughs> I do that almost every time I do this. I do that almost every time. I always forget that she's selectable. Okay, so say goodbye. So don't do what I did. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> so he got what he wanted. Now he's gonna say goodbye and then he's, Nina, no, get back. Oh crap. Ah oh, crap. <laughs> I did. I do it every time, Leah. I do it every time. Okay, say goodbye. And then he's going to get something to eat. And then he's going to invite Dina over. Is the next step. Alright, see you later, Nina. We'll deal with her soon enough. Um, now it's time for Dawn. And actually, I want to gussy Dawn up and give him some eyelashes. Because he has no eyelashes. Well, let's do that really quick. And then he's going to get some dinner. Which he was already going to do. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna give him my male eyelashes in black. Oh yeah, now you're looking good, Dawn. Aw, thanks so much for subscribing, April. I appreciate that and welcome. No, Dawn. No, Dawn. Get yourself down here and get your and have a TV dinner. Now, one time when I had him do this, he set the kitchen on fire. So I hope he doesn't do that now because that's gonna take a lot of our time. And I really want to get Dina over here and get that out of the way. <laughs> Nina always has three bolts with Daniel. Yeah, I've seen her have three bolts with Daniel before too. She usually has three bolts with Dawn. But she doesn't right now. That's weird. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. Um, let's see here. So Dawn likes green eyes and athletic. And that's Nina. He does not like plant sims. <laughs> Hi, Jed said. Thanks for stopping by. I think it doesn't have an oven, Caleb, because he's supposed to be like a bachelor who doesn't know how to cook. And they were just like really heavy handed with it. <laughs> Look at that delicious Salisbury steak. It looks like, to me, that looks like one of those disgusting banquet Salisbury steaks with some tater tots and peas. That's a weird meal. <laughs> I don't know how he lives off TV dinners. 
A lot of sodium in his diet. Oh, Don. Oh, he sniffed it. He's, he was smelling his own brand there. Okay, so now next step is to call up Dina. And we're going to invite her over. Call Sim. It, it could be carrots. Could be carrot chunks. Um, I, I just like to think it's tater tots because I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Um, so call Dina. Invite her over. It does. Looks gross. <laughs> Sounds great. She'll be here in a few. Okay, so clean up your... Clean this up while we wait. Don, you're looking so cute in those swim trunks. <laughs> He's got a little weird spot on his hair, but I'm just going to ignore it. Hey, River Feather. <laughs> These streams will be on uh, my Twitch channel for 14 days. Now, I've had a couple people request, and I was originally going to upload them to YouTube. The thing that bothers me about that is there's you don't have the chat. If I up, I can download these and then upload them to YouTube after 24 hours. Oh, Dina looking good. My, my. <laughs> she is looking cute. Um, but the thing is, you don't have the chat. So does that bother you guys? Would you like to see these um, uploaded to watch later on YouTube? And it's just going to be me talking and you won't be able to see any chat. <laughs> so let me know if you want me to do that and I will. Yes, I know she's looking good. So let's go greet her. Wouldn't bother you. Okay, if you guys want me to do that, um, I will do that. I have a separate channel for my streams called Pleasant Streams. So um, I'll upload them to that channel. And I'll post the links everywhere to that channel. Um, I posted them before and then I uploaded like one stream to it. And I thought, uh, nobody's going to want to watch this. But then I had several people ask me to upload them. So I guess if you guys want me to, I'll also put the Asylum Challenge on there too. And that way they'll be there forever, I guess. And why not? We won't lose the content then. Aw, thanks so much for subscribing, Pink. I appreciate that. Well, the thing is... When I put them on my second channel, I won't. I don't get to monetize them yet because I don't have a thousand subscribers on my second channel yet. So they won't be monetized yet. But I'm a, that's okay with me. Um, I have to get put content on there to get up to a thousand subscribers. So I need to do it anyway. Okay, come over here and greet greet this lady. Yeah, Dina is looking good. I love this default for the for her dress. Yeah, there is a way to put the chat on the screen, but I find that to be really distracting. I don't want to take it, take it away, take away from the game. You know what I mean? I did think about that. Thank you for the follow, Nando. Okay, so he greeted her and then we have to have him do like a flirt or a kiss or something um, just to get their relationship up a little bit more. That's what you're supposed to do. Of course, we could go through the ACR menu and just circumvent that, but... I like to do, I like to do it all. <laughs> Thank you. No, I do not use lighting mods in The Sims 2. <laughs> I thought about it, Bryn. That was a pretty funny one. Okay, so then whenever you see the little love hearts. Oh, who is this? Hello, Tasha Go. Oh, thank you so much for the uh, sub, Shay. She, she, I don't know how, I'm sorry. <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> thank you and welcome. Oh my, look at Tasha go. Look how cute she's looking, y'all. Oh, she's so cute. I love that hair on her. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh, let's do, you know what? Sorry, sorry, Dawn and Dina. You guys know I get distracted. But I have to make over all my Sims. <laughs> I just want to give her a little bit of makeup and then she can go on her way. They're over there falling in love. Oh, she looks so adorable with that hair. I love it. She is. Oh, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Dratsa, thank you very much and welcome. Okay, so we're just gonna give her a little bit of makeup. I don't wanna go too overboard with my teenagers. I don't like to give them too much. Um, 
just a little bit, just a little touch. Um, it's so weird because I don't really wear much makeup at all, um, personally, myself, but I love putting makeup on my Sims. It's like playing dolls or something. I don't know. <laughs> so I want to give her, no, I don't want to give her anything like, like that. I just want to give her like some gloss, like some lip gloss, like a teenage girl would wear like that. So that's good enough. That just makes her look a little bit cuter. <laughs> okay. I am, Mike. I am done at my job. Oh my, hello. Hello. Okay, so these two are doing good. Oh, I'm gonna lock that in. Have five loves at once. And let's get them up. Let's get them up. Oh my gosh, Tasha, go witness this. Uh-oh. Tasha, you better not be spreading gossip around town that Dawn's cheating on Cassandra. She's like, oh my god, what have I seen? What have my eyes? My eyes! <laughs> Hey, Olya. <laughs> oh, screenshot. Screenshot. Okay, we gotta get a... Oh, hold on. I wanna put the walls up. I wanna put the walls up. Because I can't stand to have screenshots when the walls are all see-through. Okay. She's scandalized. She is. Okay, so let's get... Let's get down here. I'll hydrate, too. Screenshot. Let me get a couple angles, because you never know what's gonna really look good until I get in there to edit it. Actually, I think that was the best angle. Maybe from the side. Oh yeah, that's good. Get one. Look at her face. <laughs> oh gosh. Now let's just get this. Let's just get this because that's funny. <laughs> oh, I just realized the road. Oh my gosh, we have to fix the road. Look at that. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me fix that because that looks really stupid. Um, just really quick, I just need to put the road piece down. <laughs> okay, where are you? Where are you, road piece? There you are. Okay, let me put one more. There we go. That's much better. Now we can go in and get another screenshot so our road doesn't look all mismatched. <laughs> Oh crap, I forgot about the mod. I forgot, Maddie. I forgot about the fire hydrant mod. Crap. Did I have it in there? Oh, oh, oh. There. Now we're gonna get a decent screenshot here. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll fix the concrete too. I'm not too worried about it right now for Dawn's condo because we're about to move him out of here. But everything in this town is gonna get fixed eventually. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Um, Marta, that's a really good idea. Yes, yes. Now that's it. That's the screenshot we want. <laughs> okay, got it. I call you by either your username or your real name, whichever one I know you be by better. <laughs> whichever one I could remember. Yeah, there's, he's got a little transparency thing on his hair, but I'm just choosing to ignore it because I really like that hair on him. <laughs> Well, I think she's upset because she knows that Dawn is engaged. That's what I'm going to choose to believe. So since Dawn already had one hot tub woohoo today, I'm going to have him go do a woohoo in the bed with Dina. So let's... Actually, I'm just going to do a casual woohoo in the bed. Tasha, get out of here. Mind your own business. <laughs> the idea of a comb over. <laughs> Dawn looks like your ex, oh my. Oh yeah, make, like, oh, that's right. Let's make her selectable. Um, there we go. Okay, well, Dawn went straight for the close off experience and so did Dina. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> He's already woohooed with Nina. Now he's woohooing with Dina, and he's about to get two of his power once satisfied, 
So he's going to satisfy Woohoo with Dina and Woohoo with three different scents. Because he's also woohooed with Kaylin already before the game starts. No, I haven't set up ACR, but there's still a 5% chance. Um, so I'm, that's okay with me. Because I don't really love the idea of Dina being the first one to get pregnant by Don. I like Nina to get pregnant by him first, but I'll uh, set up ACR. Here. I need to do that now. But there's still 5% chance, though. <laughs> She's gonna become Pleasant View's Gossip Girl, yeah. Dawn's lifetime aspiration is to woohoo with 20 different sins. His lifetime want. I'm sorry, not lifetime aspiration. Okay, so Dawn's done here. Um, now he wants to woohoo with five diff different sims, have five loves at once. Um, let's say goodbye. Goodbye, thank you. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. <laughs> okay, where's say goodbye? Did I miss it? Oh, she's selectable. God, I do it every time. Crap. Make unselectable. <laughs> I, I, one time, I swear, it took me like 15 minutes to figure out why I couldn't tell her goodbye. It was because she was selectable the whole time. <laughs> yeah, she's got to get that goth money. She's just here for, for a booty call and she's out. Say goodbye. And then we'll take care of the rest of Dawn's stuff here, and then we'll be done with his household um, as far as the setup portion. <laughs> Dina got pregnant by Dawn, but put the kid up for adoption. Mm, I can see that, yeah. Yep, this is his. This is his room of love. Okay, you know what, Dawn? Please turn off that salsa. Oh, I got two hydrates. I'm sorry, guys. You gotta remind me. Oh, he's getting in the shower. He needs a shower now. He needs a shower after that. Okay, one hydrate for Jules. Oh, see, I'm glad I'm not the only one, Kayla. <laughs> and one hydrate for Mint Skies. Mint Skies. I don't know why my voice cracked. <laughs> yeah, never go into a man's room if it looks like that. If, you, if a guy takes you home and his room looks like that, you just get out. Just leave. <laughs> Oh, good idea. I will save. Thank you. And we have to get rid of the salsa music. Um, cause ew. I hate it. I hate it so much. Turn it off. Turn it off, Don. And he's already worked up a hunger again. He's hungry. So let's have, um, I guess have another, have another TV dinner. <laughs> You love the salsa station? Oh my god. Well, it's already on Salsa Doshe. It's already on there. <laughs> He's burning so much calories. It's already on the salsa station, so... I can't change it to the salsa station. <laughs> I didn't change it. I just turned it off. <laughs> I didn't change it. <laughs> Hydrate for Melissa. Thank you. I think I'm dehydrated and that's why my head hurts because I only had one cup of coffee and then I had like um, some cereal. I had some soy milk in my cereal. And that was it. Oh, and then I had, no, I had a bottle of water today too. I did have a bottle of water. He turned it back on. I'm like really bad at drinking enough fluids. I don't know why I'm like that. Yep, the music's back on. I guess I'll leave it on. Okay, so we're pretty much done with Dawn, except for I wanna do his, I wanna do his stuff. You guys know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. I wanna do his secondary aspiration. I made a list, okay? I made a list of everything I need to do for every sim. I'm just gonna put this right here because I'm gonna sell it afterwards. <laughs> salsa and TV. <laughs> Turn that salsa back on. I did, I did. <laughs> it's back on. Well, Dawn turned it back on for you. <laughs> I will not name a baby salsa. No, I will not. <laughs> okay. So first things first, I'm gonna press play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press pause. We're gonna do, okay, so his lifetime want is actually really good. His lifetime want is to woohoo with 20 different sims. That suits him perfectly, so I'm just gonna let him keep that. I also um, will show you guys, I'm gonna be tracking my sims with the tracking spreadsheet, 
And I forgot to put their ages in here. Crap. I forgot to put their ages in here and change and fix their ages. So I guess I'll have to do that. I'll have to do that after the stream because I did not. I failed to do that. Um, I'm trying to bring up my spreadsheet here. So I actually have Dawn as having 20 lovers, but woohoo with 20 Sims. That's that's the same thing, isn't it? Okay, so we want to do his college degree. So I need a bat box for that. Um, let's do... Now, Dawn works in the medical field. I'm sure you guys all know that. So he definitely needs a college degree. And we're going to give him the degree of biology because he works in the in the medical career. Yeah, he doesn't have to be in love with them. That's right. He just has to woohoo with them. That's actually easier, I think. Oh, and we have to do ACR. Yes, thank you very much. We have to do ACR. A kid named Tostitos. <laughs> You name all, I would never name all Don's children Don Jr. <laughs> okay, so let's give him biology and then he's going to get his additional want slots. I'm probably just going to give all of the adult Sims in Pleasant View a degree of some kind. Aw, thanks so much, Tam. Thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. <laughs> and hello, welcome. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see here. So we gave him his degree, and I'm actually going to lock in both of these uh, power wants here. His have five loves at once and woohoo with five different sims. <laughs> um, no, I usually use the bat box. I started using the counterfeit diploma, but I didn't really like it. Or I didn't really see the point in it. Because I did, I thought that the bat box didn't give them memories, but apparently it does. Oh no, see, he doesn't have any memories. Let me press play. Okay, so yeah. Then what the heck happened to my Sims last time, guys? I don't remember what stream it was in, but I was using the bat box to give them their degrees because I don't want them to have college degree memories after all of their other memories. I mean, I could go in there and fix it in SimPE, but it's a big hassle and I don't want to do it. So that's why I stopped using the counterfeit diploma. Like, I just don't care that they don't have those memories. Aw, thanks so much, Olya. Thank you for subscribing again. I appreciate that. Thank you. Got my earbuds or... So, I don't know. You used it today and it wasn't giving the memories anymore? That's so weird. Like, I don't want the memories, so I'm happy that it's not. But I, it was giving them memories in Fair Play, wasn't it? That's so weird. I I don't know. I don't know. This is how it's supposed to work, and that's why I like using the bat box better. <clears throat> and I don't really care that they don't have like an actual diploma. Um, no, I've never done that before, Mint Skies. Like an opposite pleasant view where Dawn's faithful and yeah, I've never done that. That sounds fun though. That sounds really fun. I know me either, Marcelinda. That's really weird really weird okay so i'm gonna go ahead i don't need this anymore right now he's about to move out of the slot oh we forgot to give him body hair as well so let's do that don get up and change into your skivvies um let's change i just want to change your clothes oh here i'll do it this way i feel like i'm missing a mod because i feel like i i think i'm missing the sim manipulator I feel like I used to be able to click on my sims and do more stuff. And when I think when I was cleaning up my mods, I left one out. Um, but anyway, let's just do appearance. This is actually faster because it just automatically changes them. Uh, and they don't have to get up and do the spin and stuff. So let's put him in his undies. And then we can add some body hair. So I'm going to do... Mm, no, that's too much. I think that's too much. Let's add... Let's try set three. Okay, that's better. I like that. I like that for Dawn. That looks like a good amount of body hair for him. <laughs> okay, so that we've done that. I gotta look at my list because I made a list of all the things I need to do so that I don't forget stuff. So let's see. 
Now I just have to find my list. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much for the sub, Ashley. Thank you for the Prime sub. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, okay, so where did I put it? Where did I put it? Now I don't know where my list is, so that's pretty much useless. <laughs> I don't remember where I put it. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so we did now we have to do a secondary aspiration. And then I think that's it. We did degree, we did body hair, lifetime want, secondary aspiration. I think that's all. Um, so let's go find his hob not hobbies, his interests. So I use the Sims interest to calculate what their secondary aspiration should be. And I have a calculator that does this. Um, so I'm going to go pull up my calculator here. If I can find it. Apparently I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. Um, so I like to use Google Sheets whenever I'm on stream. I don't like to use my Excel. And I also like Google Sheets because then I can access my stuff from anywhere. Here it is. So I have my secondary aspiration calculator on Google Sheets and I'll show it to you real quick while I do this. So here it is. I've already got some numbers in here, which I'm gonna delete those. And I'm just gonna go through and put all of Dawn's um, interests in here. So we're gonna do four, 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 eight, six, two, seven, four, seven, one. Oh, what did I do? I turned off number lock and went crazy. So you can use this calculator. Um, there's a link to it on my website, pleasantsims.com. If you go search that, you can you can get this off of Google Sheets for yourself. <clears throat> money, where was I? Money, entertainment, okay. Four, seven, one, ten, five, five, zero, ten, three, ten, and zero. So let's see, secondary asp, well, he's already romance. So his secondary aspiration is gonna be popularity, which makes a lot of sense for Dawn. I know I see you guys telling me, but I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it myself. <laughs> okay, so Dawn is popularity. And then we also need to give him all his romance stuff and then we'll give him his popularity. Okay. He's ready to go. So we are done with Dawn for the moment. I'm gonna save. And let me put that in my spreadsheet too. Now I gotta find my other spreadsheet. So many spreadsheets, you guys, I love spreadsheets. It really helps me keep track of my Sims. Um, I know some people don't like to do it, but I do. Google Sheets. I need two tabs now. I need one with my calculator and one with my hood planner, my hood tracker. And then his secondary is popularity. So here's what my spreadsheet looks like. I'll show you guys this real quick. This is how I'm keeping track of my Sims in Pleasant View. Now I always have a copy of my Pleasant View families like this. Like I just keep this spreadsheet so that I can just start fresh because I do it all the time. <laughs> And uh, so right now I'm starting with Dawn. I know that Dawn's gonna marry Cassandra, so I already have them grouped together in a family. Like I already have all the families set up here the way that we're gonna have them. I also keep track of who's gonna marry who, what generations that they're in, keep track of their aspirations, lifetime wants, careers, jobs, hobbies, how much they have in their bank account. I have a little section for notes. I also have a tab where I keep track of everybody that's gonna be buried in the cemetery, but that has nothing in it yet and I keep track of what rotation I'm on. And then any new families, I just add them to the bottom and go from there. Um, so right now we're actually on rotation zero. So that's what I'm gonna do there. And we are ready to move on. Okay. Let me pull this over here. <laughs> Nope, Cassandra does not get spared. She does not get spared. And I'm gonna go, okay, I think I saved, but I'm saving again. I, got, I, got to, I just have to save a lot to make sure. And let's go back to the neighborhood. Now I, I am playing with 18 hour pregnancy and I am also playing with five day 
are four day seasons. Four day seasons? I think four day seasons. Four day seasons and 18 hour pregnancy. That really falls in line with my one day equals one year. I also keep up with their ages in that spreadsheet, which I know it's not in there right now. I'm gonna have to do that after the stream because that's a little tedious for me to figure out their ages. Um, but we will be doing that. I use the, I think it's Inky Blue Body Hair Controller. Aw, thank you so much. <laughs> Mega Cheer, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Shelby. I appreciate that. And shared rewards to 25 others in chat. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, you guys are the best. You guys are the best audience ever. Oh, you linked it? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Max. Thank you, guys. Um, okay, so the next family, the next in line, is the Goth household. That's right, isn't it? Lothario, Goth, and then Caliente. Okay, so we're going to go in here now. So you all know the story of the Goth family. Cassandra is ready to start a family of her own, but can she tame the town Casanova? And can Mortimer bounce back after the disappearance of his wife, Bella? And she has disappeared. We're going to make sure she's disappeared. Because I can't stand her walking around. <laughs> hey, Britt. I know, I have to have everything organized. Now, I used to just keep up with everything in a little notebook. But that got too messy for me. Okay, we got to press play immediately. And we also have to look at everybody. Okay, so first of all, Cassandra is smitten with Dawn and wants to get hitched. Now, if you didn't know this, if you play Dawn first, Cassandra and Dawn will always get married. Um, even though in the Prima Guide, it says that there's a chance that they won't, they always will. And the reason why is because their relationship goes up enough overnight so that it's not too low and, they're, and he's going to accept every time. So if you don't want them to get married, what I did in my Pleasant View reboot is I just lowered their relationship in Sim PE so that he would leave her at the altar. I feel real cheaty about that and I don't like doing it. Um, but that is one option. You could also just play this household first, which I also don't like to do because I like to do everything properly in order. And so if you do everything properly in order, they get married. So that's just how it is. <laughs> okay. All right. So, oh my gosh. So she's got the default pigtails. <laughs> and I don't know... I don't like that. I don't like that hairstyle on her, so I'm going to change it. Oh, should I do it now? Should I do it now? Let's see if we can do it now really quick. Let's see if we can squeeze it in here. Let's see if we can squeeze it in. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> I always love for them to have a kid together because they always have the prettiest child, in my opinion. <laughs> now, I love this hairstyle, but it just looks like, I don't know. It's Tasha Go has this hairstyle, so I don't want her to have it, too. I would like to give her something. Uh, the hairstyle that I usually usually like to give to Cassandra is pigtails, but they're like low, like low down. Let's see here. I think I have them in this hair texture. Um, I know I had them in the pooklet hairs, but may I may not have them now. If I don't, we'll have to choose something else for her. Um, but I thought I did. Okay, I gotta hide these hats, and I, I keep forgetting to put hiders in. They're really annoying. Um, that's kind of like what I'm... Oh, no, that looks terrible back there. I do not like that hair. We're gonna have to get rid of that one. It's kind of like that, but it's just like straight pigtails. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't see it anywhere. So I don't think I have that hairstyle and this hair texture. I'm so used to my other hairs. So we'll just have to choose something else for her. Something suitable. Um, I don't want her hair to be too long because she had the pigtails. So what I like to imagine is that she just took the pigtails down. <laughs> so I don't want it to be too long, you know. I want it to still be believable that it's her hair. I'm going to take all day. Hair stream. We're on a hair stream again. I'm sorry. No. 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 <laughs> just None of these are right. Maybe I'll just keep the pigtails. 
we just keep her on the pigtails? Because none of these work for me. I like that style, but not on her. <laughs> I like this one too. That one's cute. But I don't know. I want something like gothier. Is that a word? Gothier? Hmm. Not feeling that either. I could be here all literally all day doing this. That's kind of cute. I don't know. Not with her face shape, though. Haircut. Oh, haircut. Oh, do you guys notice that I uploaded some new sound bites down there? <laughs> I did it from the uh from the 80s dating montage that we did. <laughs> If I don't find anything, oh, ha that's that's not bad. We could give her that. I mean, it's still like pigtails. Um, let's see. I oh, gotta hydrate. Okay, hold on. Ah, <sighs> I just I just don't know, y'all. I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know what I want to give her. Maybe I should have waited till after the wedding. I usually wait until after the wedding to give her a makeover and then she can go look in the mirror and tell me she hates it. She usually always hates it. Um so I'm just going to I'm just going to let her keep the pigtails cuz I can't find anything else. And that does look kind of like I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. I did all that for nothing. <laughs> I just couldn't find anything. Yeah, I'm like, I have decision fatigue because there's so many choices, except for the one hair that I wanted, I don't have in this hair texture. Oh my God, okay. So, so the first thing that you have to do is you have them have a kiss um, and then they'll get married. So I'm gonna have her give him a romantic kiss. And of course she wants to get married. I'm gonna lock in have baby because she's gonna keep the want to get married. Okay, fireworks, that was quite a kiss, blah, blah, blah. So now their relationship is high enough to get married. So there we go. Oh, I gotta do a, did I, I forgot to do the hydrate. Let me do a hydrate for April, then we'll do a commercial break, Marks and Linda. I see you there. After the wedding. Mortimer and um, Alex are just back there like whatever. I never invite anybody to this wedding. I just do the wedding. And I like to imagine that like Cassandra, so Cassandra's best friends with Mary Sue. And I like to imagine that Mary Sue does not approve of this wedding. And that's why she doesn't come. And nobody else comes because they're like, girl, what are you doing marrying him? <laughs> okay, so we're going to change the last name to Dawn's last name. And then Dawn brought 54,677 simoleons. Now, I'm going to remember that number. I'm actually going to go write that down in my spreadsheet because if they get divorced, then Dawn is entitled to get some of that money back that he brought to the marriage and no more than he brought to the marriage because he's not getting away. They've got a prenup here. Um, he's not getting away with any more than that. So I'm just going to write down that number in case they get divorced when she eventually catches him cheating. Um, then he's going to get a percentage of his money back. Okay. So they got married and that's it. Dawn moved into the mansion and now, uh, we're pretty much done with them. Usually the only thing I do, like I said, is give Cassandra a little bit of a makeover. So I'm going to go see her up again and change her makeup. <clears throat> That's right. They got a pre. She got a prenup. She's not crazy. <laughs> I do have no faith in him. No, I do not. I do not. <laughs> so as soon as we finish this, I'm gonna do the commercial break. Oh, I'll do a screenshot too. Okay, do a screenshot, then we'll do commercial break. Okay. And uh, also, I'm gonna have to run an ad eventually. Oh man, we've already been playing for an hour. Doesn't feel like it to me. Okay, so let's give her a little bit of blush. I can't even see that that's doing anything. I don't know. I hope that looks good because I can't tell. <laughs> he is a pretty good father. And I also usually give, give her either some new glasses or I pretend that she got contact lenses. But I like some of my Sims to wear glasses, so I usually do. 
um, let her keep glasses. I like to give her some cat eyes, which I don't, I can't believe I don't have a black recolor of those cat eye glasses. I think I end up just giving her these. God, I need more glasses. Um, let's see. Oh, those are, those are a little bit better. I like those. They sit up higher on her face. Um, and they're like a darker black. So I think I'm going to give her those. I didn't even finish her makeup. I just went straight to glasses. Um, I'm going to give her... Th I think those eyelashes look really good on her. <laughs> My daughter's no dummy. Get yeah, Mortimer probably made her get a prenup. She may not even have wanted to get a prenup. Um, I actually want to give her some darker eyeshadow. Yes. I'm gonna make her nice and gothy and i'm gonna give her some black lipstick too put a little shine on it oh you are looking cute cassie okay why does she have like three necklaces on what the heck why does she have a whole bunch of necklaces on what why can't i do jewelry okay that's weird i should be able to do her jewelry here Oh, they're under glasses? Okay, that was weird. That was really weird. Um, where'd those glasses go? There we go. Okay, that's better. <laughs> I added them under glass. How did I add them? Was I just clicking on stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, it's that's all right. Um, we're done. We're done. You look so much cuter now. And I like to let her keep her gothy dress until she decides she wants to buy some new clothes. Come here. Let me look at you. Stop sniffing the air or whatever you're doing there. And look, Don. Oh, I want to do a screenshot too. Yes, Don is happy that he married a rich sim. That's a good screenshot. Oh, no. I got to put the walls up though. Got to put the walls up. I haven't forgotten you guys. I haven't forgotten your requests. So I just want to get this done. Um, let's see here. I want to get the money sign in there. But I hate those little bubbles above her head. That's annoying. And if I could turn it off, but it's not going to turn it off right now. Oh, Cass, you look so cute. I just want to take a screenshot of you. Come here. Okay, we're gonna have to let her have her thought or whatever so that those stupid thought bubbles go away. I was just clicking on everything. <laughs> that sounds about right. She's thinking about him. Aww. Okay, that's cute too. Let's do another one. Do another one so we can remember this occasion. I'm trying to get a good angle, but I don't feel like this is gonna be a good screenshot, but whatever. It's good enough for me. And that's all that matters. There, that's cute. Okay. All right, we're ready. We're ready. Oh, did I have did I have the roof? Off? Oh, god dang it. That's okay. I'll just cut that out. I'll just cut that part out. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, she's in for for a tough marriage. She really is. Okay, so I'm going to save. And then we're going to do a commercial break really quick after I run. So commercial break, if you're new to my stream, does not mean a like an ad. It means we're going to watch a funny commercial on YouTube. Um, but first, I am actually going to run an ad. I'm going to run a 30-second ad. Really helps the stream if you stick around and watch. Be right back in 30 seconds. Not going to do anything until you get back. Um, yes, I did get a new microphone. Can you tell? I hope it sounds better. <laughs> I got a much better microphone. Got a professional microphone. <laughs> I feel like it, ma it, it makes my voice less shrill, which I'm happy about because I tend to be shrill. Good, good. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> You have to deal with three toddlers. Oh no, Miles, that sounds awful. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you guys think it sounds better. Great, that's great. 
Okay, so you guys, I have a great video for us to watch on YouTube for our commercial break. And because, you know, yesterday we watched the 80s uh, montage, the 80s dating video montage. Well, there's a part two. <laughs> it gets better. There's a part two. So let's watch it now. Um, unless, Marcia Linda, do you have something else? Okay, you said, oh my God. So I think you're happy about that. Unless you had something else in mind, <laughs> we can watch part two. Hamsters. I made a sound bite of hamsters, y'all. If anybody wants to use a hundred bits, I made a sound bite of no hamsters. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. Okay. And um, let me see. Dating profiles part two or something. I don't remember what it's called. Video dating part two. Here it is. And this is a really good YouTube channel called Found Footage Fest. And they have a lot of like Hello. funny old videos. I love it. Um, so, okay, I'm going to pull this over here so we can all see it. Okay, let's get ready, y'all. <laughs> let's get ready. <laughs> um, how do you get the bits for the sounds? Um, I think there should be a button somewhere up in the corner of your Twitch page. that I'm not exactly sure how it looks for you, but it says, like, get bits or something. There's no a hamsters. No hamsters. I also did fire breathing dragon and I did another one too. Oh, I did the overgrown monster. <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Here we go. This is only two minutes long. So we're going to do a two minute commercial break. We'll get right back to the game. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, the diamond on the chat box. Oh, oh, I got to stop for a sec. I gotta stop for a sec. Thank you so much for gifting a community sub at Pizza in the Sky. Um, thank you for gifting Dr. 3 a.m. a gift sub. Thank you so much. Yeah, you pressed the little diamond on the chat thing. I'm sorry, that's so obvious. I should have known that. I'm sorry, I've never bought bits before. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for that explanation. I appreciate that. Okay, we're starting over, we're starting over. thought I told you never to call me here. <laughs> Some of the things I love are photography, travel, skiing, and cuddling. This is a very exciting time for my life because I'm just starting a new claims adjusting business. I don't know, the type of girl that I'm looking for is one that's really attractive to me. <laughs> I like an attractive woman, someone who might look like Christy Brinkley or Jacqueline Smith. Dude. I have a very strong sense of humor. I have read recently that everyone thinks they've got one, but my friends do agree that I do. <laughs> might not appear it, but um, semi-crazy. Uh, kind of your oh, typical Viking. research mathematician, I guess. Oh, he's crazy. Walking down the street or just going out for... Let me take pictures of her with my camera. He's somebody that maybe even gets rough once in a while, you know, and uh, I'm a ham. I've been on Jeopardy. I decided that I'm lonely, but I'd love to go roller skating. Are you a little crazy? Extremely high <laughs> verbal skills. Co-ed bubble bath sounds like a real fun idea I want to try out. What? Um, I'm... And whoever's ever with me has to like to do it too. I'm or they're lonely. going to go nuts because I'll drive you nuts. I seek a person who is childlike. Somebody that'll embarrass you by ordering too much food or, you know, somebody like <laughs> That's that. That's the overgrown I'm monster a nice guy. Fellow. He has a I don't real know. obsession um, with food. I'm particularly attracted to black women and women of different races. So <laughs> if you like me, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Over. Volume 4 DVD? There's a DVD? I must own this. I must have this DVD that you speak of. <laughs> oh my gosh. A co-ed bubble bath. <laughs> the, I still think the first one was funnier, but that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I wish there was a fee. Maybe there is a female version, although probably not. There's probably not a female version. <laughs> I'll look and see if I can find one. I'll look and see if I can find one. Guys, if I can get my hands on that DVD, 
we will have a we'll have a a just chatting stream and we will watch it okay i don't even care if it brings my numbers down like we got to do that <laughs> oh my gosh you wonder if they all found love well i hope they did i hope they did <laughs> They're still waiting for that call. <laughs> okay, good. I'm going to look. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get that DVD if I can get my hands on that. <laughs> you hope someone recognizes their dad in this. Oh, my God. That would be embarrassing. That would be really embarrassing. <laughs> that Viking guy on the first uh, one that we watched, whew, he's crazy. <laughs> Oh, thank you for the follow, Kalia Kalia. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I already ran the ad, April. I already ran the ad. You just didn't see it because you're a sub. My subs don't have to watch ads. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I made a highlight. So if you don't want to watch the whole stream from yesterday and you just want to see the first video... Um, if you go to my vid my little videos page, I made a highlight called 80s video dating montage and it's like six minutes long so you can just go watch that part. It's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're done here. Um, I think we're done here. Um, we could have them ha try for baby, but I think I want to do that when we get back to playing them. This is actually going to be the first fam family that we play um, for a season. Okay, I will hydrate again. Thank you, Marta. <laughs> Aw, thanks so much, Sunny. Oh, yeah, yes, thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing for the second month, Jasmine. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's let's have a look at Morty here. A little old Morty. That's what I call my dog. My dog probably thinks I'm talking to him. <laughs> Come here, I wanna look at your face. Okay, let's press play so he can look up. Look up, oh, we also, oh, you know what? We also have to do their degrees and stuff, guys. I just slapped my microphone. Morty, look at us. Okay, you know what? I don't have time for you. We're just gonna go see you up anyway. I know you're gonna need it. He he at least needs eyelashes. <laughs> Where Ellen found the men from the montage. Oh my God, Shannon, we have got to watch that. <laughs> I gotta see what they're up to. <laughs> okay, so oh, I have the. I think I'm pretty sure I have the deadly vampire bite. Yeah, I yeah, I do have that mod. Yeah, that's a good mod because I was trying to get some more like realistic, disastrous stuff, and I found that one. Yeah, he's got a five head, doesn't he? At least his hair looks good. And we're just gonna give him. I think he looks pretty cute. We're just gonna give him some eyelashes here. Yeah, that's all he needs. That's all he needs. Now, Mortimer, to me, is the kind of guy who would be clean-shaven. So, I'm not going to give him any stubble or anything. Oh, thanks for the follow, Crystal Math. <laughs> Thank you. He does have... He looks like Alex Trebek. Oh, my God, he does. He does. You guys are totally right. <laughs> they do make the prettiest kids. Oh, my God. Yes, they do. They do. Oh, no, I will not get rid of his mustache. No, no, no. The mustache is iconic. I just meant, like, cheek stubble, you know? Okay. All right, so we're done. Now, let's look at little Alexander. I always want to call Alexander Mortimer. I do it all the time. I call them Alexander and Mortimer. The names are just so similar. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nikki. Thank you for subscribing uh, with... Twitch Prime. Thank you. I appreciate that for two months. They do all have huge foreheads, Joe. They do. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Gussie up. Change appearance. Let's see what you look like. Let's see what you look like. Come on. There we go. Oh, he's so cute. So there's a little, little transparency issue with that hair. Um, I've just accepted it. I've just accepted it. It used to bother me that you would have these little spots on the custom hair, but now I'm just like, you know what? Whatever. I'm just, I'm just going to accept it because it's the only way I can have a whole bunch of matching hair is if I just deal with it. Unless it's just like really bad. Sometimes it's so bad I can't ignore it, but. Okay. He looks about 40. 
<laughs> they have the same hair. Do they? Is this the exact? I don't think it's the. Yeah? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> so let's give him so his little eyelashes. Oh, we also need to give Mortimer some body hair. I'm just going to give him some really light, really light body hair. And I'm going to let Alexander keep these awful glasses. I actually hate these glasses. But if anybody can pull them off, it's little Alexander. So he's going to get to keep those. <laughs> he looks like he's going to be in that 80s video when he's older. <laughs> yeah, he might be. Okay, so I'm going to do, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to do the body hair for Mortimer. Um, and I'm just going to give him a really light, a really light dusting. A light coating, if you will, <laughs> of man hair. Um, and I don't even know what I gave him. I think I'm going to give him 4A and 4B. I don't know what that is. We'll find out when he takes his clothes off. Maybe we'll be horrified. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So the next thing we got to do, guys, to get set up here is we have to do the degrees. So this is going to be real quick and easy because Cassandra got the same degree as her dad. Um, she's following in his footsteps here. Oh, that's... I need a bat box. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I hope not, Jasmine. I hope not. <laughs> I know I can't... No, when he ages up, he gets new glasses. Yes. I can't stand the round glasses on anything other than a child. I can't even stand them on a child, but I don't know why I let him keep it. I just feel like I need to use them. And this is the only time I find it acceptable. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do upgrade sim... Free uni, and he gets a physics degree is what I usually give to um, Mortimer. I almost called him Alexander. And then I, do, I give also give Cassandra a physics degree. Right, okay, there we go. He wants to get a job. Um, he wants to flirt with Dina. I'm going to lock that in. So let's give her her degree. Free uni, physics. There we go. Let's see what other wants she gets. <laughs> okay, Beth. <laughs> Good night. Thank you for stopping by. She wants to talk to Darren. Oh, and she usually ends up having an affair with Darren, too. Oh, she wants to get a kitten. Oh, my gosh. Lock, lock. She always wants to get a cat, too. And I'm also going to be building a pet shop. For this neighborhood. I'm going to build a lot of stuff for this neighborhood. Because now I can actually have the time to do it. A black cat. Yes, yeah, she needs a black cat. Just like my cat. <laughs> and so the next thing we have to do is secondary aspirations. So let's do that. Um, oh, and lifetime once. Hold on. Let's do lifetime once. Have six grandchildren? Yes. Let me get my spreadsheet. That's a really good want for her. I actually have golden anniversary on my spreadsheet, but six grandchildren works too. She will probably definitely get that. Probably, definitely, yes. That's what I said, and that's what I meant. <laughs> and let's see. Mortimer? Max out seven skills. Yes, that is the one that I always give to him. Just so he has something to do with his old age. Um, He can work, whew, work on maxing out his skills. Okay, so that's taken care of. And now let's do secondary aspirations. So I'm going to find their interests and I will just pull this over here so you guys can see what I'm doing so you're not just like bored to tears while I'm doing this. And I know you guys probably already know what their secondary aspirations are, but I want to do it anyway. I want to do it. Let me do it. <laughs> oh, here we go. So let's see how I've got zero, three, two, two, eight, four, six, zero, eight, and three. Oops, 10, 0, 10, 6, 9, 0, 2, 10, 10. Okay, so we have got, he's already a knowledge, so he's going to have a secondary family. I like that. I like that. <laughs> you just, oh, I choked when I looked over to the chat and saw, I just got a bunch of mosquito bites. <laughs> oh, how funny, Steph. <laughs> That's true, Olya. Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, okay, so he's gonna, they're gonna do, what am I doing? 
secondary family. So I'm going to give him the knowledge. Now, I'm not going to give him summon aliens, I don't think, right now. Um, Warmer's, if anybody should summon aliens, it's probably him. So I'm going to think about that. I don't know. I don't know. I usually only give that to certain, certain Sims. Um, and then we'll give him family. I'm going to give it to him. We don't have to use it, but I'm going to give it to him. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and then let's give him slower social and comfort. Okay. So he's done. Now let's take care of Cassandra. Let's go to Simology and do hers really quick. What do I do with my calculator? There it is. So 0, 2, 6, 2, 8. Oh, that's 9. 8. Six zero three ten ten five nine five five zero three six and ten. Okay, so um, knowledge, which okay, no, I was gonna say she's a knowledge sim. No, she's not. God, God, she's a family sim. So she's getting secondary knowledge, which I love for her. It makes perfect sense for her. Um, so let's do that. So we're going to give her the whole family tree, except super fertility. I do not want a ton of twins in this neighborhood. I'm not giving her super fertility, but we will give her secondary knowledge. She's going to roll a bunch of wants to get skills all the time instead of babies, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going to have plenty of babies. And then I'm going to give her slower um, social and comfort since she's a family sim. and She's going to be pregnant a lot. Okay. All right. Let me go back to game there. Um, well, their interests can change. See, what's really weird is I'm not exactly sure about the answer to that, um, Cassie girl. I'm not exactly sure because sometimes people have told me that they've come up with an uh, with a secondary aspiration that's different than the one I come up with. And I thought that their, I don't know if their interests are randomly generated every time or not. I honestly don't know. Um, I know that the, their interests can change over time, you know, based on their interactions with other Sims and reading magazines and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I honestly don't know. So I always calculate it just to be sure. <laughs> okay. I think we're done now. Did we do everything? We did lifetime want. We did degree. We did. They change at each age up too. Yeah, that's right, Joe. That's right. They do. Yeah, you know, you could just start a game a couple times and look and see. And I've never done that. I've never actually paid attention that much. But I know, like, especially in fair play, like, um, some of my viewers were coming up with different, uh, different interest than mine had so i assume it is just random i don't know maybe not who knows not me <laughs> somebody knows and it's not me <laughs> yeah we could all screenshot dawn and find out <laughs> um okay so i think we did everything guys so i think we're done here i'm gonna go ahead and save so we don't lose every lose anything yeah, the, on the wiki, their interests are never what they actually are in the game, or at least not in my experience. Thank you for following, son of of Eros. Thank you. Um, I've looked at their interests on the wiki, and then I look at their interests in the game, and it's not the same. So that that kind of makes me think that they are randomized. But again, I'm not I'm not 100 sure about that. So let's go back out to the neighborhood. We are, we're done here. Oh, actually, I usually stay here until nighttime just because the Prima Guide says stay around till nighttime and you'll see the ghost. So I just do that. It's not necessary. And what I, what I also like to do is I go ahead, let's, we can go ahead and have Dawn and Cassandra try for baby since she wants to have a baby. And then I just have them go to sleep and I wait a little bit longer before I switch to the next family. Yeah, I kind of hope it is like that, Cassie. And I can't remember what um, I made Dawn and Cassandra's. I can't remember what their aspirations were last time. 
Okay, so they're gonna actually take over this main bedroom now, and it's really weird to like try for a baby with your new husband with a picture of your mother hanging over you. So I always take the Bella picture and I move it up to the attic. Cause it's just weird to me. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't want that. <laughs> you always get the same interest when you use the clean templates. Oh, that's a good point, Anna. Maybe they are set in the clean templates. That could be it. Yeah, that could be so. That's her father's and mother's bed. Yeah, but you know, it's an antique. They washed the bedding. <laughs> I always have them move into this room. And then Mortimer sleeps in here, but he, he he's only here for one night. And then he's gone. He moves in with Dina. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? With bleach. Yes, they boiled it in hot water and bleach. <laughs> Okay, Don, get up here. Get up here and relax, and let's try for baby. <laughs> oh, thank you, A thank you, Anna, thank you. Yes, I gotta set up e ACR, I completely forgot. Let's do it right now. Um, let's do it right now so we don't forget. So we're gonna spawn this adjuster and we're gonna set this up real quick. I only make a couple of changes, so I changed the, okay, stop what you're doing. I changed the risky percentage, of course, to 20%. Okay, and then I change timer multiplier to four, or else your sims will be going at it like rabbits. Um, gender preference, I change target gay percentage to 20%. Yes, have your attraction. She's smitten. Oh, crap. I forgot to ban the stupid piece of crap. Oh. Ah. Okay, well, she's here. She's here, and there's nothing we can do about it. Get out of my, get out of my life, Melba. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I think, too, Joe. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. I'm going to change this to 20% because I like a higher percentage of gay sims in my neighborhood. And then I changed the bisexual percentage um, oops, to 15%. And then we're going to also run the uh, randomizer real quick. And then I think there's something else I changed too. Global switches. Auto gender preference, I'm going to enable that, which I don't even, I think that works, but I usually do it manually anyway, just to be sure. Uh, oops, I'm going all over the place. And then unmarried, try for baby, I enable that too. And then I think that's everything that I do. That's everything that I do. <clears throat> They're using the same bed as their parents. They are, because it's the only double bed in the house. Um, but we can pretend that they got a new bed, if that makes you feel better. And then I'm going to do, for the hood, I'm going to run the randomizer right now. So I do, for anybody who has no gender preference, we're going to randomize them right now. And then I'm going to make it high. And that's just my personal preference. Cassandra, were you just looking right into my soul? Was she looking at me? And I'm going to change this to a beautiful orchid. And we're going to move it into the house somewhere. <laughs> Booty calls are, yes, definitely enabled. Um, we'll just put this right here. Right by the bed where it belongs. Now you get up here and relax too. I also do, I took out smart beds for the asylum challenge and I didn't put it back in. I'm going to see if I, how I like it without it. <laughs> that's right that's right Kristen when the deed needs to be done you let yourself forget about things <laughs> yeah the windows are terrible they are they're awful we're gonna don't worry we're gonna do a lot of fixing on these houses and businesses and stuff I'm gonna do a lot of work I, why are they white and this one's brown oh god Ugh. okay so let's get let's get down to business. I'm gonna have her initiation since she's the one who wants to have a baby. And we're just gonna do a good old fashioned try for baby. 
just crazy. I was utterly yeah. disgusted. I'm gonna do a lot of making over um, houses and businesses and building in Pleasant View. In my, in my free time, what little there is. <laughs> You can't wait for the relationship to be ruined by ACR. It's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. <laughs> no, it's not like that in the base game. No, you're absolutely right, Caleb. It, because it's so blinding um, in here. You could really notice it. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to fix them. Don't worry. Um, okay, let's save. But I'm not going to worry about it right now because we're not going to be in here for very long. And um, what's going on out here? What's going on with these guys? Oh, who is that? Wait, 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 wait. Who is that? Somebody's walking by and that means it's time for a makeover. <laughs> you remember seeing a mod for those windows on Mod The Sims? Yeah, the brown windows are facing the wrong way. I noticed that too. That is good old Randy London. Randy, let me get in here and look at you, son. Oh, see this hair, there's something, I really, I'm really disappointed because I love this hairstyle, but there's something wrong with it. You see that? And I just, I don't think I can live with that. Maybe it's just like that in the preview window. We'll look and see. Um, but here's Randy London. I'm gonna just give him some eyelashes. Randy, there you go with your little... He's got really squinty eyes, doesn't he? <laughs> Randy is hot. Really, Chrissy? I don't know. I never thought Randy was hot. I think it's a smushed in face. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to let him go. That's all I wanted to do to him. I'll check out his hair later, I guess. <laughs> oh, and also... The road, the road. Can't forget the road. Let's put the road piece in. Okay, I gotta go to, I can't, I always, it's so weird that it's in miscellaneous decorative. I just expect it to be in miscellaneous miscellaneous. Go. I have never used these roads in Pleasant View, but I really, really love these roads. So I'm using them in Pleasant View now. <laughs> and all the concrete is gonna be changed to match too. And all these windows are going to be fixed. Don't you guys worry. Don't you guys worry about that. <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> he looks like his face melted. He's marrying your sim self. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to Mortimer, Alexander. I don't know. Go do something. They're going to go check out the new road. Hmm, what's this? My road just got all dirty looking. I like these roads because they're the only ones I've ever found that look like they're actually like worn. You know, you can see like the, it looks like actual pavement. I feel like the base roads are just too perfect, you know? The road works, yeah. <laughs> I do have the Sims 3 tombstones. I have default replacements for the tombstones and they look so cute. Oh, look, there's the ghost. There's Simon Crumplebottom. Yeah, they look good. They look really good. He looks much better as an adult, does he? We'll see. We'll see him when he turns into an adult, most likely. Okay, so the ghosts are out, so we're done. We're out of here. I'm just going to leave them standing out in the front yard. I'm going to save again. And then, oh, Vampira, I totally missed. I'm sorry. I missed your roast. I'm so sorry. You gotta, you gotta remind me because I don't always see him. I'm sorry about that. I just looked over there and I saw in my activity and I saw that. Okay, so I'm gonna roast you then. I'm gonna roast you. Just get my attention if I don't see your request. I'm sorry. So we gotta do a roast real quick, guys. So I'm gonna roast Vampira. And okay. Oh, that's the wrong one. All right. Here we go. Here we go. This is a good one for you. <clears throat> Never was a man so badly meant to wear corrective lenses. <laughs> that's, that's your roast. <laughs> that's all I got for you. <laughs> Is this how American roads look? Yep, pretty close. 
only usually we don't have this solid at least none of the states that i've ever lived in and roads can look different in different states but none of the states i've ever lived in would have this solid line we would have a dotted line um for most roads or two solid lines not very many roads that i know of have just one solid line but yeah that's pretty much how they look are way worse depending on where you live there could be big old potholes <laughs> yeah it depends on where you live because some states have really good infrastructure and some states have really bad um so where i live now is pretty bad pretty bad yeah our roads look like this but with more potholes <laughs> Your roads don't have a dotted line. Oh, well, if you live far enough out in the south. Oh, thank you for the bits. <laughs> she weigh it. Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo. So if you live far enough out in the country, it'll just be one slab of. Con yeah, you're right, Caleb. You won't even have a line or anything. <laughs> you won't have a line or anything. Or it'll just be a dirt road. I've lived on many dirt roads in my life growing up in the rural south. <laughs> Yeah. Your town doesn't believe in perfect roads. Yeah, mine either. Mine either. Okay, I'm gonna save again just to make sure. <laughs> and I'm going to go back out to the neighborhood and we're ready to move on. Oh, I didn't, I don't think I updated everything in my spreadsheet. I didn't. Maybe I can remember. Um, oh no, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't put their secondary aspirations in there. So Cassandra was a secondary knowledge and Mortimer was a secondary family. Oh, I love it. Family knowledge, knowledge family. I love it. So now we're moving on to the Caliente sisters. Woohoo. <laughs> The burbs are last. Um, once you play through all of the families that are already in Pleasant View, then the last thing um, is to move in the burbs and the oldies. And they don't have a scripted story, so I just put them in at the end. So let's go. Caliente sisters. Was it just coincidence that the Caliente sisters arrived on the eve of, Bel on the eve of Bella's de disappearance? God, I cannot talk or read, apparently. And is their interest in Mortimer physical or fiscal? I think it's both. I think it's a little of both. I love the Caliente sisters. <laughs> no, the Pleasants are last. The Pleasants are the last family um, that you play before the Ben families. Okay, here we go. Dina Caliente's digging for gold and she wants to lay a claim on Mortimer. Don't wait for him to make the big move. Be aggressive. So Mortimer's going to be walking by right down here on this funky... Oh my gosh, no. Hold on. I got to fix this road first. I can't stand it. I got to fix the road. <laughs> Just really quick. Okay, let's do one more piece here. There we go. Okay, much better. Much better. <laughs> Yes, I'm using clean templates, but I get I got rid of all the other families, so I use I use all a whole bunch of different templates to get rid of the uh, Ben families because I don't like them in my worlds where they do not belong. <laughs> oh, thank you for giving out the gift sub, Kristen. Thank you um, for giving the gift sub to Sunny Spring, and welcome, Sunny. Okay, so we're ready. We are ready to roll. So Dina, so the first thing you got to do is send Dina down here. She's going to greet Mortimer and she is ready to get married and they're about to get married out in this front yard. <clears throat> and is she wearing her swimsuit? Yes, yeah, she is wearing her swimsuit. Okay, that's what I like to see. Getting married, getting married in her swimsuit. <laughs> That's right, the home wedding. With no, nobody's being invited to this wedding. She's just about pr to propose to him and they're gonna get married right here. <laughs> here she comes in her swimsuit, in her base game swimsuit. Cause I have Get yourself not... an outfit. Yes, get yourself an outfit. She needs one. I have not been able to find a good default replacement for this swimsuit. So it it is, it is what it is. And so the next thing we do is propose engagement. 
Come on, propose, propose. There we go. And he's gonna say yes, of course, because he is smitten with Dina. He is in love with her. Oh wait, that's not her. That's not him. But anyway, he's in love with her. <laughs> Did she ask him? Why didn't you propose? Propose engagement, what are you doing? You're wasting time, Dina. Dina's looking really cute though. She looks so cute. <laughs> Oh, I love how he says, oh my God. That's what I imagined he's saying. <laughs> you don't want bits of gravel in your knee? Oh my gosh, there went Brandon Lillard and we totally missed him. Okay, so next is proposed marriage. We're not wasting any time. We are being aggressive. We are locking it down. And then I always have Alexander come and move in with them and leave Cassandra and Dawn as the oldest child, Mortimer is leaving everything to Cassandra and leaving the house to Cassandra. Now, Alex is still going to get a big chunk of the money when he comes of age, but Cassandra is getting the house because that's just how I like it. <laughs> yeah, Brandon really does need a makeover. You're absolutely right. So here they are, getting married in, in the swimsuit, in the front yard, in front of a bunch of butterflies, possibly some townies. Okay, so their last name is going to be Goth. So she's Dina Goth now. So as soon as you do that, um, ooh, and she wants to get a job in the law career. I love putting Dina in the law career, and she usually wants to. So after that, then you're going to get a pop-up. Two's company, but three's a crowd, so it's time for Nita to get moving. Use the newspaper to move a sim out. And Mortimer brought in 56000 not the whole fortune like Dina would have wanted, but he brought like 10%. So he brought 56630 I'm going to write that down even though I'm probably not ever going to need it. You never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen in The Sims. So I'm writing down the 56630 just so I can remember how much he brought um, to the marriage in case I ever need that information. I always like to have too much information instead of not enough. Okay, so the next, so what you have to do next, or what you don't have to, I guess, but what I'm going to do next is have Nina move out. She's like, okay, Mortimer and that kid are moving in here. I'm out of here. So she's going to go find her own place, and we're going to move her into the Pleasant Vista Apartments. So where the heck is the newspaper? There it is. Um, and she's going to go find her own place. And she, oh, she wants to get a job in the dance career. I love putting Nina in the dance career. Yeah, I moved in, Alex. He'll show up here in a minute. Oh, and Mortimer's hobby is nature, which, of course, I already knew that. Their hobbies are something that don't change. There's Alex. There's Alex. Good for you, Mortimer. Go enjoy the nature. Dina's just sitting there, like, watching you. Yeah, I'm going to remodel the condo because this thing is hideous. This is one of the ugliest houses in all of in all of the land i don't know who decorated this piece oh it's so ugly um so i'm just not even gonna pay attention to them i'm just paying attention to nina right now he did not sign a prenup no he didn't he didn't he thinks that nina really loves him and she does really love him but she also really loves his money um nope she's just gonna move out on her own in her swimsuit or she's getting dressed at least all right, Nina. Bye. See you later. And so she's going to be in the sim van. We're going to move her into an apartment. You piece of crap, Melba. Get out of my life. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so we're done with that. That's pretty much all we have to do. Usually, the only thing I do now is remodel remodel the condo, but I'm not going to do that on the stream because I don't want to bore you guys with that. I'll probably do that another time, um, and then you can see it next time we play. So I'm gonna we're gonna gussy her up and we're gonna change her makeup just a little bit so she doesn't look so corpse like. <laughs> so oh my gosh, she looks so pretty with this uh, skin. She really does, and I'm actually gonna let her just keep that hair because it looks really good on her. And I'm going to give her a little little bit darker blush and some nice, oh yes, that Lilith, those Lilith eyelashes look really good on her. And give her a little bit 
of a darker, not too dark of an eyeshadow. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I probably will, Kristen. I probably that'll probably be part of a bonus video for my channel members. Yeah. Yep. And then I like her to keep the pink lipstick, but this lipstick that she has on, she looks like a corpse. It looks like you remember like in the early 2000s when people used to have concealer lips? Not a good look. Not a good look. So I'm going to give her something just a little bit, just with a, just a little bit more color in it. Especially for her skin. Like this pink right here does not, it's not working for me. It's not working for me. Um, Maybe some gloss. Maybe some gloss would be good. <laughs> Concealer lips is a classic. <laughs> no lip, Dina. Yeah, ooh, it's bad. I think some nice pink gloss like that looks really cute on her. Okay, and it's kind of similar to her original look, but just like not so bad. Let me look at these. No, I like the other one better. I like the other one better on her. <laughs> yes, Google concealer lips. It's just where they would just like put their concealer or like foundation on their face and just all over their lips and then just like not wipe it off or wear any lipstick or anything. It would just be like your lips would be the same color as your face and you'd look dead. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> okay, so that's how she's gonna look. And let's put her outfit on her. Uh. Oh, I keep trying to do it the wrong way. Actually, I want to get the Sim Blender. And I want to get the Bat Box. We need both of those. So we can do our duty here. It's not good, Joe. It's not good. <laughs> you think you did it 2011, 2012. Oof. The blunder years. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Dina would totally use Botox. Yes, yes. Um, I didn't wear ma any makeup in high school, so I don't have any makeup blenders. Thank goodness. I just have, I have so many other blenders, though. <laughs> and let's, what did I want to do? I wanted to put her into her outfit. Get yourself an outfit. Oh, Dina, you're looking so good. She looks so cute. Come here. Dina, you make me have low self-esteem. Damn. <laughs> the eyeliner all over the eye. Oh, that's so funny because I was just talking to Mr. Pleasant. Like, we were watching some true crime show and... You know how they have, like, the prosecutors are on there giving their little spiel? Well, this prosecutor lady, like... She had the full-on raccoon eye. So I was having to explain to Mr. Pleasant why you shouldn't, like, do your whole eye and eyeliner. And she had really small eyes, so it just made her eyes look really tiny. <laughs> yeah. It was... It was something. You had the raccoon eyes. <laughs> I never did the raccoon eyes. I don't... Eyeliner irritates me, so I don't wear it. Yeah. <laughs> bright green eyeshadow all over the top oh god she does look good with her alien face she does <laughs> i like a smoky eye if it's well done i know i've done a smoky eye in my day if it's well done but you don't want a thick circle all the way around your eyeball <laughs> okay we're done with that. So let's do life. Let's do lifetime wants. Um, earn a hundred thousand dollars. Yes, that's a great lifetime want for Dina. Um, I think I'll give her that, and we're gonna put her into the law career. Let me get my spreadsheet here, so we can update this as we go. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm doing too, so you can have something to look at. Oh my God, get up here. Get where I want you to be. So here we are with Dina. I'm going way too far. And we're going to give her earn $100,000. Or should, should I give her the law? I think I usually give her the become the best in the law career. Hold on. Let's 
Let's see. Let's see what we can find. I can't remember if that is a want for fortune. I think it is. Let's see. Oh, sometimes it can take a long time to get to the one you want because there, there are a lot of them for fortune. Oh, or not because I just cycled it. So maybe not. Nope. Okay, never mind. So we're going to let her keep 100,000. Now I just have to go all the way back through. Oh my god. Come on. Come on! I wish you could just choose the one you wanted from like a list. That would be so much easier. Well, I mean, I guess you can in SimPE, but that's even more work. <laughs> okay. She's done except for her degree, which we are going to give her a degree in in political science that's now i know dina's really lazy but somehow she managed to squeak out a degree who knows maybe she flirted with her professor she convinced other people to do her work i don't know but she got herself a degree in political science and she wants to be a lawyer she might be a really terrible lawyer because she's not willing to put in the work but that's what she wants to do so we're gonna let her do it and we're giving her that degree in political science <laughs> Yeah, she probably did, Joe. She probably did. <laughs> Legally blonde. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. So she's ready to go, and then Mortimer... Oh, we've already done you. We only have to do her. She's done. She's ready. Um. Oh, secondary aspiration. Secondary aspiration. Don't sully Legally Blonde. <laughs> All right, so where are where are your where's your stuff? Where's your stuff at? I'm starting to get tired. Don't know what I'm saying anymore. So here's our secondary aspiration calculator. Let's do this: two one six two zero one ten ten zero five ten eight zero two ten eight six and nine. So we got pleasure of course we did she is a secondary pleasure i mean that makes perfect sense for dina all she wants to do is play in the bathtub all day play on the fridge so i mean it really does suit her um even though it's like one of my least favorite aspirations still gonna let her have it still gonna let her have it and it's it's actually really easy to get their aspiration up with pleasure because a lot of the stuff that they want to do is like so easy to accomplish <laughs> Okay, so la, 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 la. where is it? Where is it? Pleasure. Okay, there we go. And also, I will spawn ACR so that they can do booty calls and stuff. I think I forgot to. No, we got it. We got it on the other. We got it on the other lot. Okay, and let's put this up in the bedroom. Yeah, this whole house has to be redone because it's. It's horrible. And then we have to fix up this room for Alexander. I always fix that room up for him. And I always do it in... I always do the condo like in a really modern style. Yeah, I agree. It's not too bad as a secondary. But primary... I don't like doing primary pleasure. Um, I never do... I never do primary pleasures anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore. All right, I think we're done here. I think we're all done here let's do a save let's do a save you know what i mean you know what i mean oh i gotta hydrate thank you gotta hydrate all right <laughs> it is it is no you shouldn't feel cheaty because you're getting all of the right information oh yeah <laughs> and i'm going back out to the neighborhood now we're done. We've done our work here. We've done all we can do. Um, and I'm going to take you guys back to the full full game screen there. Did I put everything in? Oh, I didn't put her secondary aspiration, so her secondary was pleasure. Let me put that in. And she doesn't have a job yet, but she's going to look for a job when we get back uh, to her family. Okay. Hey, Nick. Glad you could make it. Oh, we got commercial break! Commercial break! Okay, let's do it. This is a perfect time. Um, the Link Liquor Orbit commercial. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, let me find that one. Link, flicker, or, or is it Trident? Because it's coming up as Trident, Anna. Oh no, it's Orbit. I don't know why. I don't know why the the search said Trident, but the video says Orbit. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> okay, let me pull it up over here. Two point four million views. Okay. Oh, thanks for the follow, Ocean. Is it gonna play? Is it playing an ad? Okay, this is weird. I don't know what this is. Is this some kind of, oh, there it goes, okay. You son of a biscuit-eating bulldog. <laughs> what the French toast? Did you think I wouldn't find out about your little doo-doo head cootie queen? Who are you calling a cootie <laughs> queen, this one. you lint licker? Get all you cumquats! You're overreacting. No, Bill, overreacting with when I put your convertible into a wood chipper. Stinky McStink face! <laughs> you hoboken. Let <laughs> me this. New Orbit Raspberry Mint cleans another dirty mouth. You hope so clean feeling, no matter what. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that is a good one. I forgot about that commercial. <laughs> you lint liquor. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, good point. Now I need to run a real ad. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna run a real ad. I'm gonna run a 30 second ad break. Really helps if you stick around and watch it. We won't do anything until it's over. Be right back. And my subs, of course, you don't have to watch an ad. I keep forgetting to set my my ad timer. I'm so bad about that. Um, let's set one right now. I'll get one more ad break in before the end. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you think so, Caleb. It's actually really fun to play this live. It's like way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I like this. I like this a lot. I actually like this better than doing like a let's play on YouTube. Um, it's just more fun to interact with you guys and we can get through so much more so much faster, you know? <laughs> Lit liquor. Yes, I will. I will. We'll do that. I will make it a sound. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is move Nina into her apartment. I'm not actually gonna play her. I just like to get her into her apartment, get her out of the bin. Um, so I'm gonna put in, I always put in the Pleasant Vista apartments because I just feel like they match so well. Even though it really bugs me that there are all these palm trees over here, like in the middle of this forest, mountain forest. Why are there palm trees right here? I don't know. I'm probably gonna take those all out and put trees that actually make sense here. I mean, I get what they were going for with the look, but it's just out of place. It's just out of place. <laughs> I know we are, aren't we, Shannon? We're, we're making really good time. So I'm gonna put the, uh, where is it? It's under specialty lots. I get asked this question all the time. Somebody asked me this question today on a YouTube comment. Where is the, where are the apartments? Where did I get the apartments that I play in Pleasant View? They are part of the game. They came with apartment life. They're under specialty lots and they're right here. Pleasant Vista apartments. And I love them because they're small, they're compact. Oh, I have to, gosh, I have to delete this. I delete this right here, 30 middle lane and I put the apartments at 30 middle lane. That's what I do. Okay, and I leave it Pleasant Vista apartments. Yeah, I'm probably going to redo all of this whole section because it's just stupid. <laughs> it's just not, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> you moved yours by the lake. See, that's a good idea too, Sim Nights. That's a good idea. Um, I want to keep the condos here. They just need to be completely redone. Maybe just rebuilt from the ground up and these palm trees need to go. <laughs> so we have our apartment here. And I really hate to generate another NPC, but we're gonna do it. We got no choice. We're gonna have a landlord. Um, and we're gonna have Nina move right in here. And I always move her in the same apartment. If you guys have watched my videos, you know which apartment I'm gonna move her into. <laughs> yes, there will be a flop house. There will be a flop house. Um, I'm gonna build my own flop house. 
But Caleb, I just saw that Caleb built a really nice flop house. Um, and he put it in the Discord. If any of you guys want to go check that out, it looks really good. Um, I like it a lot. I would use it myself, but I just kind of like on a building kick, so I kind of want to build my own thing. But it looks really good if you don't want to build your own. Okay. So, this is our landlord, Heath Bishop. Heath Bishop here. Hello, Heath. Why are you wearing a beanie in a in a vest? That's a he's a hipster. Okay, he's a hipster. <laughs> yes, I gotta do the um You're welcome, Caleb. I always love your builds. Um, let's see, I wanna do I wanna fix the roads. Can we fix the roads? Oh crap. Uh-oh. I don't think we're going to be able to fix the roads. Shoot, I had to do it before I moved her in. Oh, I can do the, yeah, I can do the cheat. I can do the cheat. No, you don't need build mode. But I think there is a cheat, isn't there? What's the cheat, guys? Um, does anybody know it off the top of their head or I can look it up real quick? I think it's, uh, shoot. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Apartment sublot specific tools. That's it. Disabled. True. Oh, I didn't do it right. I didn't do it right. Hold on. Apartment sub lot specific tools disabled did that do it did that do it no what are you guys saying to me now oh it needs to be false oh it needs to be false okay that didn't do it oh i gotta do a bull prop oh crap i gotta do a bull prop this is the longest freaking cheat code ever. God. Still didn't work. Still didn't work. Oh, move objects also. Okay. Still didn't work. <laughs> It needs to be true. Okay, hold on. It's not working, guys. It's not working. Here, let me... Let's try this. I know I've used this before, um, but I haven't used it to put anything on an apartment. I think I've used it like on community lots. Nope, it's not working. Crap! Hmm. I'm gonna have to move her out. I'm gonna have to. Yep. I tried false and I tried true. Neither one works. Neither one works. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. It's working now. It's working now. Woohoo! I'm so happy. I don't want to have to move her out. <laughs> okay, we got it. You just have to keep trying, I guess. Maybe going out of, uh, going into live mode must have done it. And then once I turned it false. Okay, we got it, guys. Thanks. Thank you. It was a team effort. We got it done. <laughs> all right. It, it worked. It worked. That's all that matters. And so she's going to move. She's going to rent this apartment right here. Um, we're gonna rent the apartment for um we're gonna rent it for the more expensive price because that's with the furnishings okay oh i have to do it for each apartment oh thank you joe okay i see i know exactly what you mean yeah yeah i know exactly what you guys mean 
Um, oh, yeah, let me turn the cheat off. Good idea. Okay, there we go. Okay, so rent is 1100 um, a week, which is a little steep for Nina, considering she doesn't even have a job. Um, she wants to get a job as a dancer. Oh, okay. Why did it show me his gender preference? Did I click something? What was that? <laughs> what was that? Okay, so what I want to do, first of all, is we got to fix her makeup. That's the first step. And then we're going to give her some basic furnishings because I just can't bear to leave my Sims with nothing. Sleeping on the cold, hard floor. <laughs> he just wanted to make sure I knew. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Um, I've never had that happen before. I've used this cheat. I've never used this cheat on apartment lots. I've only used it on... Uh, like I said, I've only used it on community lots, and I've never had it cause any problems. Okay, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Oh, that looks good on you. Let's give you some blush. I always use these blushes. Let me try to use a different blush. Oh, that's cute. I'll give you that one. It's buggy on apartment lots. I see. Well, let's hope. Let's hope we'll be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I always use these. I always use whatever's first. I need to like scroll down and try to use some of my other stuff. Ooh, I like that. I like that on her, how it gave kind of like a shiny lid. That's nice. And then I want to give her a little bit of a darker lipstick, but I think I'm gonna give her something glossy too. Like that. Maybe a little darker. Oh, that's cute. Now that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. <laughs> Oh my God, what did Bella show up? She, Bella's gonna show up and move into one of these apartments and I didn't think about that. I should have banished her before. Um, so let's see, maybe she hasn't moved in yet. Pause, pause. Bendette. Long. Goth, crap. Okay guys, you just pretend that she does not exist, okay? Because she is not in my game. And let's see. How am I gonna do this? Where is my... That's a rug. <laughs> Why do I have a rug in miscellaneous? That's weird. No, if I use the Nobella version, I wouldn't have any townies. So there's only, I can only find two versions. One was with townies, including Bella. And one was, is there another one that doesn't have Bella? Cause I couldn't find it. <laughs> and then one was with no townies, but I love all the townies. So. Um, can I not get rid of her now? Am I gonna have to leave? Ah, huh, crap. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> I don't want to. I already did all this work. <laughs> oh. I don't think there is. A, there's a no Bella version, but it has no townies. And I want the townies because I love the Pleasant View townies. Um, because I think. I think I read, Max, that, that that screws something up. I don't want to kill her. I want her to be missing. So you can do that by, I think I can do that by giving her this uh, prisoner tag. So she'll just never show up on the lot. She'll just be missing. But I think I had to do that before she moved into this apartment. Um... So, crap. There's no, there's no help for it. I gotta quit without saving. There's no help for it. And I have to go to another lot and, like, summon her over. Um, I gotta go and summon her over and give her this prisoner tag. Um, and I don't know if it'll cause issues or not. I just don't want to do it, Max. <laughs> I just don't want to do that. I don't want to kill her. Okay, well, we at least we didn't furnish the apartments or anything, so we didn't lose too much. Basically, all we lost was Nina's, was the road 
<laughs> we're gonna have to redo the road. <laughs> yeah, all we have to redo is the road and Nina's makeup, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, no, I don't want to save. I guess I'll just go back to the last. I'll just go back to the Callie and days, and we'll take care of it over there. Do, do, do. So Nina's here, but I don't think she is. She in an apartment? Uh, hold on. Let me ro let me load it again. Let me go in it because she shouldn't be in an apartment. She should just be like on this lot. Let me see. Oh, we got a we got a new landlord. Yeah, so she hasn't rented her apartment yet. Okay, good. Perfect. Perfect. Go back out. I want to save. No. And we'll get another landlord once again. We'll get one more. <laughs> I don't want to move her out. I don't want to. Because uh, I guess I could. Uh, I guess. So much hassle. Um, let's see. I don't, I think I've had problems where I couldn't move Sims out before. Oh no, it's gonna let me. It's gonna let me do it. Okay, we'll do that. That'll be easier, I guess. So let me go in and edit this lot real quick. Everybody gets a landlord. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Joe. That's true. It's easier to fix it just one time. I know. I wish there was too, Emmy. That would be so much nicer if uh, Playable could be a landlord. I know there are mods where you can kind of simulate that, but I don't really like the way they work. Um, so I just never even bother with it. Okay. I don't know why I went all the way around there. I don't know what I was doing. Did you guys see if I had the, uh, I don't think I have the fire hydrant mod. I forgot to check into that. What is that? Oh, macrotastics. Still don't think I have it. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's save that. Yeah, a townie would be good. If you could use a townie, I would like that too. Um, no, not a fire hydrant. I mean the, uh, the, the fire hydrant that makes the cars pass by. Um, but I don't have, I, I thought I downloaded it, but I guess I didn't, because I don't have it. <laughs> yes, Sandy Broody the Slumlord. Yeah, I have the townie, I have a townie aging mod. So the townies age at 6 p.m. if they're on, um, the same lot as you. So yeah, I have that mod. Okay, back to the neighborhood. <laughs> Good, Olya, I'm glad. And now we can move her back in. Oh, first of all, though, let's take care of Bella. So I want to go back to... Uh, the, I'm just going to go back to the Calientes. It doesn't matter. Just anywhere that we can summon her over, give her the tag, and kick her out. And then we shouldn't see her anymore... I do not want her in my world. Not that I don't love her, but it's just sto the story, you know? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to... Get the Sim Blender. We're going to tell... Oh, our, that, there's already Sim Blender here. What am I thinking? I like to usually replace one of these with the Sim Blender, so I just don't have so many uh, Sim Blenders hanging around. And we will teleport, enable summon menu, and we will teleport. Uh, where is she? Is she in, she's in townies. Bella Goth. And then we shall give her, do I have to make her selectable to do this? I think I do. I think I do. And um, let's make her selectable. And then we will give, give her that. Wait, it didn't go in there. Okay, why is it going in there? 
Oh, there it goes. Now she's got that. Let's make her unselectable. And then we will delete her. Okay, and that should do the trick. That should do the trick. So now she's missing. She's in Strange Town where she is. Where she is. <laughs> and let's save. And let's go back to the neighborhood. Thank you, Anna. Anna just posted the link to that mod, if anybody's wondering. <laughs> Rest in peace, Bella. Sorry. Sorry, she's not part of this story. She's part of the Strange Town story in my world and in the Sims world. <laughs> That's a good idea, Caleb. Yeah, I like that idea too. Um, all right, let's move Nina back in. Yes, please. A sunny spring because I'm using clean templates. Thank you, Anna. Thank you for answering those questions. <laughs> Oh, the problem comes when trying to resurrect them who have tokens. Oh, I see, Max. Well, I guess if you're not going to resurrect them, then you don't have to worry about it. Um, but I like doing the I like doing the prisoner tag just because it's easy and doesn't cause me any issues. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's rent apartment. Who's our landlord now? Where's our landlord? Are you sure you want to rent this apartment? Yes, I'm sure. Oh, who do we have here? Ooh, Matt Morris. Hello, Matt. Are you good looking? Can Nina get a discount on her rent if she flirts with you enough? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, does he have does he have Nothing Max's bad. hair? Why do you have Max's hair? Being I mean, he's not too bad. Oh, Melba. Melba, you're killing me. Okay, come here. We we have to gussy him up too. I can't stand that hair. All everybody's hair has to match. I can't stand it. Oh, the death token shows in the family tree that the sim is dead. Yeah, see, that's an I you're right about that. I don't like that either. Okay. He looks I mean, he looks pretty good, but the hair. We gotta do something about the hair. Let's just give him a normal, like a normal haircut. That's fine. That'll work. That already improved things right there. Let's give him some eyelashes. Okay, looking better. You know what? He could use a little stubble too. He could use a little stubble. There you go. Now that's an improvement. That's an improvement, Matt. And some... Okay, it showed his gender preferences again. So I, I don't understand that. I don't know why it's showing his gender preference. That's weird. It was a hidden hair, yeah. Um, okay. I know I didn't click on anything that time. That's odd. Uh, Mar so here's Marissa. Marissa thinks he's hot. Is he fat? I think he's fat. <laughs> Oh, it does it sometimes when it assigns them? Oh, it's probably because I have auto gender preference on. So it just assigned it and then it just showed me, I guess. That must be it. I see. Okay. That's weird. That's a thick landlord. <laughs> oh, so we have to, um, we have to gussy up Nina and then we'll gussy up the other townies who moved in. So it's always Marissa, Benjamin, and I think Melissa Fancy. Who move in here because i feel like i think it just does it in order so those are the first three townies that max has created for this neighborhood so they always move into this apartment and um, let's do change appearance oh. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly joe and i'm thinking uh nina can get in on that rent discount <laughs> Yeah, that must have been it. That must have been it whenever I enabled it on ACR. Yeah. Okay. We're going to keep her hair the same. And I'm going to give her these Lilith lashes. I'm going to give her some of this Lilith eyeshadow. I don't remember which one I gave her. Oh, it was this one. It was this one. And then I gave her some lip gloss. 
Oh, I also gave her some blush. I gave her some of this Lilith blush. And then I'm going to give her some of this lip gloss. And I think I gave her like a, like that color. Okay, looking good. Looking good, Nina. And finally, we have, who's, Bella! Bella, what are you doing? It didn't work. It didn't work. She's here. Oh. I think. I think we gotta kill her. I can't ignore it. It bothers me. If I delete, it won't matter if I delete her off the lot because she's already rented this apartment up here. You see this? This is already the goth apartment. Uh, I hate to kill her, guys. I hate to kill her. Mm. I mean, yeah, I could control her and move her out, but then she's still out there. She's still out there. Oh. I could do that, Mitzi. I could make her like like make her over into a new townie, but I don't like that because I don't like any random Sims in my hoods. Um That won't do anything, Blissful Siren. If I force air and delete her, she'll just be all, she'll just come back to the lot because she's already rented this apartment. I know it's so weird it didn't work. I don't I don't know I don't know why it didn't work. Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to give her the death token. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Okay, well, I can't do it now. I'm going to have to do that in Sim PE. So just ignore her. Just pretend she's not here. Um, and I'll take care of her. I'll take care of her later. <laughs> yeah, I think that might be it, Marie. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <laughs> oh. Did he just shock her? So I know I saw Benjamin and Benjamin always moves in here. Come on, let's introduce ourselves so I can gussy him up. Yeah, but then she's in the sim bin. I don't like that either. I don't like any of these solutions. I just, I wish that somebody would make a clean template without her in it, period. Like, just leave her out. Um, okay, we gotta fix him. We have got, to, come here. Come here, Benjamin. So, Nina always ends up getting with Benjamin because he's just so convenient. He lives right downstairs, so he's like one of the first townies that she seduces. So we gotta make him look as good as possible. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't like that either, Joe. That bothers me because I know she's there and I don't like it. <laughs> I'm going to have to just give her the... Oh, I can do it through testing cheats? Oh, okay, hold on. Y'all have to tell me how to do that. I didn't know you could do that. Um, Let me finish him and then um, tell me how to do it. Give me just a second. I thought I had to do it in Sim PE. Obviously, I've never given anybody a death token before. Let's see. I want to give Benjamin a hair. I just want to give him like a normal haircut like this because I feel like that he would have that. Through testing cheats menu, you click on kill and give death token. Okay, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. And let's no. Oh God, what am I giving him? What am I giving him lady eyelashes for? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, he does have a huge nose. He's got a big old honker. He's got a, like a, he's got a big face. <laughs> he's got a big face. Um, okay, I'll give you a roast in just a second, Space Dorito. Let me finish this. I like to give him a little bit of stubble because I feel like he, he doesn't have time to shave because he's always learning things. He's a knowledge sim. I, I love Benjamin. I do. He's a funny looking dude, but I like him. And I'll let him keep his god awful outfit. I don't care about that. <laughs> you can sled down that thing. 
And let me save that. Oh God, I'm gonna save. Okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna move her. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. How should, what do you guys think I should do? Like, how should I do it? Should I move her out or? I know I don't wanna screw up the apartment either. So what should, how should I do it? Move her onto the Caliente lot, then do it. Okay, oh God, this is so, you know what? I'm gonna do it later. I'm gonna do it later. Um, it's a lot of hassle and like, I just don't wanna do it right now. So I'm gonna do it when I'm off the stream. I'll move her over there and, and kill her off. I don't wanna do it right now. I wanna do something more fun than that. <laughs> But I'll move her out and uh, and do that over on another lot. Okay, Melba. Melba. You're out of here. That's for sure. And what I want to do now... Who's this? Bendette? Okay, we have to go introduce ourselves to Marissa so we can gussy her up. Then I want to get some furniture for Nina. And I'm just going to ignore Bella right now. And I'll deal with it later. <laughs> Looks like the apartment's in great shape. Okay. 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 Well, I don't want to do it while she's on the... I don't want to do it while she's on the... Uh, while she's in the apartment, I don't want to do it, Miles. Because it might mess up the apartment. But her apartments are already buggy. So, yeah. Okay, let me do my roast real quick. So, my roast is... Oh, this is a good one. This is a really good one. Okay, Space Dorito. <laughs> Your face is like a thousand cannibals playing, mumbled, playing Mumbledy Peg with an eggplant. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was worth your points. <laughs> yeah, you really do have to, Joe. You really do um, have to be careful on the apartment lots. Oh, there's our little uh, paper delivery man, paper delivery boy. So now we're going to gussy up Marissa. She is so cute. And once we finish that, we're just going to, we're not going to completely furnish Nina's apartment, just enough to get her by. Um, no, they won't have the memory of her dying. Mm-mm. No. Okay, let's give her some blush. Some cute little blush. Oh, I like that. She's got very pretty eyes. She's got dark blue eyes. Let's give her some of these Bruno lashes. Yes. 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 Give her a little... No, that's too dark for her. I think she would have a lighter eyeshadow like that. And then some light... I want to give her an, a lipstick that kind of matches her dress because I'm matchy-matchy. <laughs> I'm glad you liked your, uh, <laughs> your roast there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do the death token. I'm going to do that. That seems like the best solution since the prisoner tag didn't work, which I don't know why it didn't work. I was kind of afraid it wouldn't work. So I want to give her like an orangish, orangish, orange ice. No, that's not orange enough. Mocha? No. Terracotta. Mm -mm. Orange? No. This is pretty close. Red brown? Oops. Okay, I'm going to run a 30 second ad break. It really helps the stream. If you stick around and watch it, you should still be able to see me. I'm just going to be doing makeup. Be back in 30 seconds. And if you're a subscriber, you do not have to watch the ad. Dull red. Oh, that's better. I actually think the dull red looks the best. Let's put some shine on it. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Okay. <laughs> that's right, Caleb. Hair eating distorted torso. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Spice brown. <laughs> we gotta put some spice brown lipstick on somebody. <laughs> 
she looks really cute. I'm gonna, that's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. And now all we have left to do is just give Nina like a bed. She obviously needs a bed. You know she needs a bed. <laughs> yeah, the clean UI is larger. I like that a lot because before you could barely see. That's like one of my favorite things about it. Okay, bed, bed, bed. Let's give her a bed. I'm just gonna giving her the cheapest of everything so that she can start saving money to get a house. And it's probably gonna take her a really long time because Nina does not stay focused on work very well. Um, but she's gonna at least try to save some money. Now her favorite color is pink. So I'm gonna give her a nice plain like pink, pink kind of setup here. <laughs> yeah, Miles, that was really funny. <laughs> And let's do a nice little end table, little cheap end table. Give her a lamp. Just absolutely the very basics is all I'm gonna give her, just really quick. Um, we'll do this lamp maybe if I have a pink one. And then I always put a um, desk over here for her so she can have I like for her to have a computer so that she can actually earn some interest on her money. So I'll put a little one tile desk over here, just a little cheap one. And I'll put a chair, um, a cheap little chair, like literally extremely cheap, extremely cheap. We gotta go really cheap here. <laughs> yes, and make sure she has a phone, yes, definitely. Um, let's give her, I want to give her the computer, even though it's going to cost, this is going to be her most expensive possession, but she needs this. 1500 I'm going to give her the laptop. Um, just because it looks better than a giant CRT monitor on that tiny little desk. <laughs> and that's her bed. Oh, we should give her some curtains though. I can't stand it. She's got to have curtains. These are my favorite curtains ever. The Simply Elegant Curtains by Holy Smoly are my favorite curtains ever. And I want to put those They're not really tall. The, there, there we go. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. There we go. Jules, for the amount of days in the seasons, I just edit. Um, I just found a mod that makes the seasons longer for The Sims 2 and I just opened it up in SimPE and edited it. Edited it. Edited. I changed it. <laughs> I changed it. Um, you can use the seasons and weather controller, but I believe it's a lot more tedious to do it that way. So I just made made myself my own mod for it. I do too. I love when the chairs pull into the mouse too. Uh, oh no, I don't want to do that because I'm gonna have to spend her money to recolor it. Hold on, that's expensive too. Dang. Well. I gotta do it. Is this one cheaper? A little bit. A little bit. Let's see if there's a pink one. Oh, it's bright pink. It's like bubblegum pink. It's like little kid pink. Here's a more muted pink. Ugh. No, I don't like it. I don't like it. This one's so much better. <laughs> you make everyone live in 2002, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's not even the right size. What am I doing? Oh boy, it's been a long day. There, finally. So now I can pretend at least that she can close her curtains. I wish those curtains would actually close. That would be awesome. Um, but they don't, but I pretend they do. I pretend they do. Yeah, she's on a tight budget because you can see she doesn't have very much money here. Uh, so all I want to do now is just give her, I give her a little couch, just a little couch, little couch. I always do her apartment exactly the same. So if you've seen my pleasant views, you've probably seen her apart, how I do her apartment. <laughs> I give her a little pink couch and I give her, actually, I'm going to turn it this way. Um, just a bookshelf TV and it's and a little dining table. And that's all she gets. Give her a TV here, bookshelf somewhere she a cheap bookshelf this one's like the cheapest one and then a little 
dining table. Also need to put a light. Well, she has a light. That's good enough. She has a light. <laughs> Okay. Really quick, I'm just trying to get through this. I love this table right here. The casual cafe dining table. I have no idea where I got this from. So if you ask me, I cannot tell you. But I love it. I love it. And I'm gonna give her some super cheap, super cheap chairs. Two chairs right there. She also needs a trash can. Which I never, I, actually I think I'm gonna put her table over here. I'm gonna put the trash can right there. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. As long as everything fits in here, we'll be happy. There we go. Oh, and a phone. And a phone. Can't forget the phone. And I just put the phone, like, on the wall right there. That's fine. All right. So that's it. That's all she gets. She's got 4,452 simoleons left, and I will have her come and deposit that now. Um, let's bank online. We're going to deposit 4,000 into her bank account so she can start getting interest on that. Um, I'm probably not going to give her a burglar alarm, to be honest. I never do. Oh, thanks, Max. Thank you for finding that table. <laughs> I really don't give her a burglar alarm because it's kind of expensive for her. Um, and I don't feel like she would have one. So, yeah. I got her a trash can right there. But she's not getting a burglar alarm. Not right now. She wants a stereo. <laughs> hey, while you're here, look for a job. <laughs> Maybe we can find her a job before we go. No, don't go to the bathroom. Find a job. No, get back, get back, get back there. <laughs> um, let's look for full-time jobs first. I always try to do a full-time first. Hey, there's Goopy, Goopy. No, no, gussy up Goopy. Gussy up Goopy. <laughs> oh gosh. If she gets robbed, she gets robbed. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Oh, you redeemed radio station eight minutes ago? I didn't even see it. Okay, I guess we have to get her a radio then. We have to get her a radio. Uh, let's let's finish the job search and then we'll get the radio. Oh, by the way, there's a Discord uh, chat command. So you can just type exclamation point Discord and you'll get the Discord server. Oh crap, no you won't. <laughs> It blocks my link. Why does it block my link? Never mind. I'll have to fix that. <sighs> Sorry. Don't listen to me. Look again. Oh, Goopy. 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 There you are. <laughs> it doesn't let me post a link in my own chat. <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah. Um. Well, it works. It wor the command works, it just blocks the link. <laughs> yeah, it thinks I'm shady. I think I have some setting in there uh, for link, so I gotta go fix that. <laughs> I know, who do I think I am? Man. Uh, I just wanna give him like a goopy haircut. What's a goopy haircut? Oh my gosh, my stomach just growled so loud. I Could you guys hear that? I'm starving. <laughs> That's a goopy haircut right there. That's what you get, goops. The goopster. The goopinator. Let's give him some eyelashes, too. There you go. Now you're looking better. Actually, he looks pretty good. I think he looks better than Benjamin. <laughs> what was that? What was that link, Caleb? You posted a link, but it was some, like, big, long YouTube redirect. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's give him some stubble. I like my men to have some stubble. <laughs> I don't know, Caleb. I don't know. I don't know. If anybody wants to join the Discord server, you can look on down below on my little about section. Um, and there's a link down there. Just click on the dis the big Discord button. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
See, the, it works. It just doesn't show you the link. Those stars are where the link's supposed to be. <laughs> okay. We're done with that. She's still looking for a job. We got to get a radio. Got to get a radio. I'm just going to give her the cheapest possible one. And we don't even have a surface to put it on. We just put it on the floor. That is sad. That is... We're going to put it over here by the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's sad there it is caleb got it there's the discord link <laughs> okay dance career yes dance career level one oh we need to give her a degree level one let's take the job though she may have been able to start at a higher level if i would have given her a may i shouldn't have I screwed up. I shouldn't have given it to her. <laughs> That's okay, though. She needs to start at the bottom. Uh, let's do her degree. And also, let's get a sim blender up in here. And let's turn on R&B music. That sweet R&B. You go turn that on. Um, oh, she wants to woohoo. Locked in. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. <laughs> I always give her dance career because she always wants to go into the dance career. And she's, like, really fit and athletic. So I just think it's perfect for her. Oh, change the station. Change to R&B. I love the R&B station. That's one of my favorite stations on here. <laughs> I don't know what her lifetime one is. We're about to check. Uh, right now, it's Woohoo with 20 different sims. That's perfect. I'm keeping it. Unless, maybe we should give her, you know what? No, I'm not. We're going to give her the dance career. We're going to, we're going to give her the dance career one. Nope. Um, because so few of my Sims go into the dance career that I, I want her to have this one. Okay, wait. It is, a, what? It is a romance one, isn't it? It's not? Why am I not getting it? Okay, wait. Why are there only like three wants for romance? That's not right, is it? That's that that's not right. Why is that? Why is that? I don't There should be way more. That's what I thought too. Something's not right here. It's not right. Yours did that too? Did I add what mod? No, I don't have a mod, lifetime what mod that takes interest into account. I don't think I do. What mod, what's it called? It's possible I, I downloaded it, but I, it doesn't. You guys know what it's called? Because this is not right. Um, obviously, I have something. I have something that is causing this. I I just recently got a new mod by Pescado. That's probably it. That's pro yes, that's it, Joe. That's it. That's it. I I think I have that. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to change her lifetime one in SimPE, and I'm going to try to figure out what's up with that mod. So, I'll fix that later. Her lifetime one is going to be to get to the top of the dance career. And let's give her... I'm going to give her the drama. The drama degree. Let's see what else she wants to do. Ooh, woohoo in bed and woohoo. Okay. <laughs> she can start working on that pretty soon. And then her secondary aspiration, I want to do that too. Let me find her uh, interests. And let me just do this really quick. Show you guys what I'm doing here. Um, 0, 4, 10, 10, 0, 0, 10. Wow. Three, one, 
five, two, 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 four, ten, eight, ten, nine. So we got pleasure. <laughs> she and Dina both got pleasure. Wow. Okay. Pleasure it is. Pleasure it is. We're going to give her the romance tree and then pleasure. She loves to be pleasured. <laughs> And to pleasure others. <laughs> okay. That's that's all we gotta do, I think. I think we've done everything. Except for body hair. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna delete. Oh, why did I delete those? We can leave those. We also need an ACR. I'm gonna put that there. Put that there. Let's get an ACR just respond here. We definitely want her to be able to do her booty calls. Spawn adjuster. We'll move that into the bedroom. Oh, I think I'm going to have to buy her another table, unfortunately. Buy her another table. Oh, get, get, no. Select what I'm asking you to select. Oh, oh, no. There we go. <laughs> that was hard. That was tough. And now she's got 277 simoleons, so times are tough. Times are tough for Nina. <laughs> Okay, um, I think I'm, think I'm done. I'm gonna go back to game capture. We're gonna save, because we don't want to lose any of that progress. And then I'm gonna have to take care of Bella. Um, but like I said, I'll do that. I'll do that separately. I'll do that privately. I'll do that off the stream. I'm gonna go back to the neighborhood now, and let's see, what else do we have to do? Who's next? Um, is it the Brokes next or the Dreamers? I think it's the Brokes. I think it's the Brokes, then the Dreamers, then the Pleasants is the order um, that we need to go in. And so we can go ahead and start on the Broke family. We're not going to be able to complete it, obviously, because we only have about 15 minutes left of the stream. But we'll go ahead and go in there and start it. Why not? Let's get it started. So Brandy was left to raise two boys alone following her husband's suspicious pool ladder accident. With Dustin acting out, can Brandy teach young Bo to make the right choices in life? I think she can. I think she can. At least we can go in here and get their makeovers done at least. Okay. Let's first of all, let's start with Brandy. I'm just I'm not even gonna do anything I'm just gonna do well actually let's do the little pop-up first so we can go over that So when you first start the broke family you get your little pop-up here Or you should anyway There it is Bo broke is growing fast and Brandy wants to teach him all the skills He needs to stay out of trouble Click on Bo to teach him to walk and fulfill wants for both Sims. So he he almost knows how to walk, so she just finishes it off. Oh, not talk. Teach Bo to walk. And she wants to do that. And while she's doing that, usually Dustin goes off to school. I'm going to go ahead and do Dustin's makeover now before he leaves. Not makeover, but just gussy up. We're going to gussy him up. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we need to watch that clip of Ellen. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Let's see here. I want to give him something kind of similar to the hairstyle he already has. I feel like I give all my guys these two hairstyles, so I need to try and find different hairstyles. So that, see, that one is, that one's got something wrong with it. No, 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 no. He just needs, like, one of the... Oh, no. Oh, that's... <laughs> I don't like any of these except for those two. <laughs> Let's see. No. No, no, no. That doesn't suit him either. No, definitely not long hair. Definitely not. No. I like that. I kind of like that one. I like that one on him. That makes him look pretty cute. <laughs> oh, yeah. These hairstyles, they're already aging horribly. 
Max, they're they already are. Like some of them, oh, some of them look really bad. Oh, that's a strange one. That's a weird one. No, that doesn't suit him. I think I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this one. Let's do his eyelashes. And he's ready to go. That's all we're gonna do. He obviously he has default replace replacement clothing that looks a lot better. And we'll just let Brandy finish this up really quick. And then the next thing that we do is basically play this family until Bo ages up. Which we don't even have to do, but I'm going to do because that's what the Prima God tells you to do. But first, we're going to get... So he just learned it, didn't he? Yeah, he just learned it. Uh, let's gussy up Brandy. Then we'll take a look at little Bo. And then we'll probably have time to watch the Ellen clip. <laughs> oh, Brandy. Um, actually, that's, I kind of like that. I kind of like how her hair looks a little messy. Because <laughs> I think that kind of suits her. But the black lipstick does not. The black lipstick does not suit her at all. <laughs> She's looking trashy. <laughs> um, that blush was really bad on her, too. Whatever blush she had on. So let's, yeah, that's way too dark. I'll give her a much lighter, uh, much lighter blush. And I'll give her some eyelashes. Let's try these Brunos. Yes, those look really good on that eye shape. Yeah, she would definitely wear pink lipstick. Absolutely. So we're going to give her... No, that's too dark. Let's see. Bright pink. Yes, that one is perfect. I want to put shine on it. Okay, now she's looking cute, much cuter. I really like this hair on her. When I first saw it, I was like, ah! But now I'm thinking, this makes a lot of sense. Like, her hair would kind of be a mess right now. She's trying to, like, raise this toddler. You know, she's got problems with Dustin. She doesn't have time to fix her hair. She just threw it up in a bun. <laughs> I know, her jeans. Those are default replacement jeans. We probably need to change that. That's... Oh, she's got the whole butt crack thing going on. Yeah, that, mm -mm. you're right. We need to change those. Um, normally, I don't change their clothes, but this is one situation where I feel like, uh, yeah, she's about to find out she's pregnant too. Yeah, you're right. Where I feel like we need to change her pants. She's going to need a whale tail with those jeans. No kidding. Those jeans are too, too young for her, I think. Let's give her some different jeans. There's some different pants. And I don't know which ones I want to give her, but something else. Because she's wearing that tank top, too, so you have to remember that. And I don't think she'd be wearing heels or anything. I just want, like, some normal... Okay, those have, like, boxers poking out of them, so that's not going to work. Um, Those are... I thought I usually put those jeans on Nina. But those would work on Brandy. Oh, no, they wouldn't. Still got the butt crack. Oh, that's a that's a mighty crack. <laughs> oh, these. These are what she needs. These are so brandy. Come on now. Oh. They're bad. Jeans and but she's going to have her tank top tucked into that. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. But I want something like that. Just like some plain jeans like these. Um, let's see. Yeah, it is. There's so much, high, so many high heels and not enough just like plain clothing. These, perfect. That's it. Those are the ones. Those are the ones. Aw, thanks for the cheer, Nick. Thank you. <laughs> Her whole booty was out. <laughs> Did you cheer just so you could say that? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so we're going to do these jeans. I think these are perfect. And she has jeans and and sandals because that's what she likes to wear. And who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? Nobody. That's who. Yes. That looks so much better on her, I think. I think. <laughs> Everything else we're just going to keep the same, so. I don't care what else she, whatever else she's wearing. Look at all those cheeks. <laughs> So, see, that's, I think that's more of an appropriate gene for her. 
<laughs> Let's take a look at Bo. Oh, I can't do Gussie up on a toddler. I forgot. I hate that. I wanted to Gussie up my toddlers. We'll take him. No. We'll take him to the mirror. Like a bunch of plebes. <laughs> Only God can judge me. <laughs> Her milkshake brings all the Darrens to the yard. <laughs> okay, so he's so cute. Um, he just needs a little different hair texture. Oh, he needs a little hair like that. He needs that little hair. Oh, yes. Yes, you do. Let's give you some eyelashes. Cute little bugger. There we go. Now he's looking cute. <laughs> And now everybody's done. So Brandy pretty much just spends her days struggling. She's struggling. I'm also going to rebuild my social services office. Because I am not happy with the one I built like freaking two years ago or something. I'm going to build a new one. Um, so Brandy can go get herself on welfare. That's what I want to do. I wasn't using my welfare because I didn't like that it created a NPC, but because I'm not as strict about that in Pleasant View. Oh, there she goes, Prego. I'm gonna go ahead and use it because I really like Brandy being on welfare. Aw, he likes music and dance. Look how cute. Look how cute. <laughs> Get yourself some welfare. You have toddler teeth makeup. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. She's gonna play games. Playing games, Brandy. All right, so we've got about five minutes left. I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna go see if I can find this clip um, that Shannon was talking about. Let's see what we can find. Of El Okay, do you know what the name of the clip is? Ellen 80s dating oh here it is ellen 80s dating video that's all it took ellen found the 80s dating video men this was 10 years ago so it's not recent but hey we can see what they what they're up to 10 years ago <laughs> let's do it let's, that's a great way to end the stream we gotta end the stream with the video every time that's what i think <laughs> i got it i got it the toilet's crusty. That's because she just vomited in it and just left it there. <laughs> here we go. Okay, here we are. Ellen found the 80s. Okay, I'm going to mute this while the ad plays. Going to double, double expose you guys to some ads. <laughs> oh, another ad? Come on now. Give me two ads right now. Try to entertain, YouTube. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, we ready? Here we go. <laughs> the Viking guy, I know, he was crazy. He was well, crazy. as you know, we've been showing you some dating videos from the 80s. Today, three of those guys from the videos three are here. Us. First, there was Big Phil. Big Hi, Phil. my name is Phil. Uh, Big most Phil. of my friends call me Big Phil. Yes. Come on out, Big Phil. Come on out, Big Phil. I gotta know if he got married. I really hope he got married for me. I know only three. Uh, then there was Maurice. Maurice. Hi, I'm Maurice. I'm an executive by day and a wild man by night. <laughs> it's the wild man. Oh man, I wish they would have gotten uh, the. Uh, Hamsters guy. Oh, they did. They did get the hamster guy. I think they did. Is that smoke free Mike? And you remember, of course, Mike. Hi, my name's no. Mike, and if you're sitting there no. watching this tape smoking your cigarette, well, hit the guy. fast forward button because I don't smoke and I don't like people who do smoke. Just the same, just an older version of himself. <laughs> I know they didn't get any of the good ones. I wanted Hamster Man and the Viking at least. Well, first of all, thank you for being here. And uh, I want to find out, first of all, how you found out that we were showing this on the show. Who found out first? Well, I live in a small town 
with a lot of Ellen fans. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> He's literally a square. They called your show and said, hey, that's our planning and zoning commission. Uh-huh. So they ratted me out. All right. And oh, Nicole, how My big sister, Jacqueline Ann in Connecticut, is a big, big fan he of you. Does. And she he saw does. it, and my cell phone at work just ran off my hip, and she just said, you're out of job, you're out of job. Wow, check this Your guy sister out. must have flipped out that she's uh, watching the show and suddenly her brother's on the show. She was flipped. She just couldn't believe it. Had she seen that before? <laughs> that video? No. Uh, no. What if no. he smokes now? <laughs> <laughs> she knew me, but... Yeah. Yeah. She, uh, she was just flipped oh. out and she called me and then my other sister emailed me from the other part of Connecticut uh-huh. and it was wild. Oh well, it's, my I want to find the rest How of those guys if I can because I think it's just hilarious. If people now, were like oh, making fun single? of your dating video okay. and your family saw it. Uh, you, you got married, because I talked to you on the phone, I called you and yes. surprised you at work, yes. so you're he married. Got married! And uh, did you get a lot of dates from, from that, anybody? I got about ten dates. Ten dates? Yeah, yeah. And nothing got ten didn't dates. didn't last into a relationship or just dating? No, a couple of two or three dates, and then they uh, stopped answering the phone. Uh-huh. <laughs> Good night! <laughs> they stopped and answering the phone. And you got dates from it also? Well, actually, as I recall, oh, the company the kind of went under, uh-huh. which didn't really help. But now that the video resurfaced, who knows? You never know. You never know. It may oh. happen today. Right. You don't and know. And now, non-smoking's in, so I got a better chance. <laughs> now you have a much better chance. Oh, All right, boy. and now you're married, and uh, how'd you meet your wife? Business. Uh-huh. Yeah, business acquaintance. Mm-hmm. She's a smoker. She's smoking hot. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dude, that was just too cheesy. That was just too cheesy. He got 10 dates. Ten. All right. Ten. Now, um, for, Ten for you two single guys, I got something that might help um, because everything, and, and even 80s, the way people yeah, dress, it it's kind of coming back in style. It, it always goes in, in, in waves like that. Andy, come on out with uh, something that we're going to give them. This is a, a members only jacket. And let me oh show God. you all the different things it does. Um, there's a cassette player. All right. Yeah. This is so funny. <laughs> That's 10 dates too many. Get physical. Then, thanks. And then, but then he said that they, they only went on two or three dates and then they side. just stopped answering there's the phone. There's another pump for cologne. <laughs> and there's a long stem rose to be pulled out of the sleeve to be romantic all of a sudden. Oh, it's the rose. There's a Rubik's Cube in case you want to challenge anybody. And uh, there's single on the back and, uh, and not above it. So you can change it. <laughs> Well, that might help. You know, I don't know. All right, and uh, you're all gonna get for being such good sports a three-day, two-night stay at the okay, Old Spice Hotel and Casino well, in Los Angeles. I mean, we got a little bit of closure out of that. A little bit. They didn't have our favorites. I really wanted Hamster Guy. I wanted to see if he found his non-hamster love. <laughs> That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> Crazy curtain lady. Yes, yeah, somebody's been telling you guys have been telling me about that. We'll check that one out next time. Yeah, we'll check that one out next time. <laughs> well, guys, I think this is gonna wrap up the stream. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I had so much Some fun. Big overgrown monster that's <laughs> always thinking about food. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. I'm so glad somebody played that before the end. <laughs> I'm so glad somebody played that. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody, have a great night. Let me see. What do I have going on? Um, tomorrow is Tuesday. So tomorrow I'm going to make a video that will be um, out on Wednesday no on YouTube. <laughs> no hamsters. No hamsters. And then let's see. Saturday we have a members-only live stream on YouTube for my channel members at the live streamer level and above. And then Sunday, we're going to be doing the uh, Asylum Challenge again. And I hope to get two videos out this week. And then maybe another blog post or two. So just watch out. Watch out, guys. I got content coming. <laughs> the, I'm the overgrown monster right now because I'm about to go eat. I'm about to go eat. I made some lentil soup last night. It's so good. I made lentil soup and cornbread and it's calling my name. I want to go eat it right now. <laughs> So I hope you guys have a great night, and I will see you very soon. Wait, what is today? Oh, wait, don't go. It's Monday. I forgot. We have another stream on Wednesday. For whoever's still here, I don't know how many of you guys are still here. We have another stream on Wednesday, and I don't know what to stream. 
I was gonna poll you guys and ask if you wanted to see Sims 2 or Sims 3, but now everybody's gone. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Maybe I'll put something up. Um, uh, you guys want more Sims 2, Sims 2? Just say what you want. Just say what you want in the chat. Sims 3? <laughs> I got one Sims 3. It looks like Sims 2. Lentil soup is, and I make, oh, I make a good lentil soup. Let me tell you, it's got all kinds of veggies in it. It's got all kinds of veggies in it. Don't worry, Olya, we'll do something with baby Olya. We'll do something. We're not going to let her disappear, okay? I promise. Um, Looks like everybody wants to do more Sims 2, though. Uh, more Pleasant View. You can't do a poll on Discord. I could put a link to a poll. Um, I don't know how many people will go to it, but it looks like the overwhelming majority of you guys want Sims 2. Um, it might be nice to do a Sims 3 night, though. Gosh, I don't know. You know what? Maybe I'll make a poll and I'll just put a link to it. We'll see. I don't know what I want to do yet. But thank you for telling me what you want because it looks like mostly everybody wants sims 2 and i think you guys are my my regular monday and wednesday night crowd so we'll see we'll see maybe we could go ahead and finish up pleasant view on wednesday at least yeah i could do that nick that's a good idea that's a good idea okay guys thank you for uh thank you for telling me what you want there and i will see you on wednesday I'll figure out what to do before then. Looks like probably going to be Sims 2, though. All right. So have a great, great night, guys. I'll see you very soon, and I'll see you in the Discord. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on all the places. <laughs> and join our Discord. <laughs> Good night, guys.